Alrighty, people, how is everybody? Can you hear me? Please let me know in chat. Also, shout out to uh, Nerdlet Gaming there, Laney, Marcos, Spanish. Good to see you early in the chat. Right, we're going to be doing some Outpost Infinity Siege, which has just launched. Hope you're all excited for it. There'll be plenty of running around, collecting loot, shooting robots. And hopefully not dying. This game has gone through quite the change, I can tell you that. I've been testing it since... Oof, when was the first test? 2022, I think? I don't know. But it, it has changed a lot. And I just wanted to show you just how much it has changed. Um, by quickly clicking on this little developers link. It's kind of like a the credits, but uh, after the initial bit of credits, it actually shows you through all the changes of the game um, back from when I first played it really, really early on, and it looked very, very different in terms of the characters and the weapons, uh, to today where we've got this fantastically modeled base with all the different weapons and stuff absolutely cool so we'll just let this play for a little bit and I'll, I'll talk you through the the little bits of when I got my grubby little hands on and helped test the game but yeah it's it's a really cool concept I absolutely love testing this here we go look, look at that first kind of throw to type stage you can see here the gun is very very different from what was well what we have now on the launch build uh the ui hasn't changed too too much uh neither have the base components like the standard ones that hasn't changed too much but yeah the gun has changed a lot you can see there's a weird rotating spear and you used to put like little cores in that pop out there so yeah it would have been around january this is kind of when we were doing the the, the play test really old looking cannons. This guy would just eat through bases. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. And you would have seen maybe some of that footage from my initial video that I did on this. Um, none of that playtest was covered in NDA. It was all a public playtest. And then all the following playtests after that were, were all covered by NDA sadly. So I couldn't really share lots of the, the juicy upgrades. But yeah, they really, really did a lot of refinement uh, on this game and it is super fun to play if if it's not too buggy we had a very 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 buggy time during testing which is to be expected of course but yeah really really fun you can see here that all these new models start to come in everything starts to take on a much higher level of pop uh, level of polish and then we're pretty much getting to like the standard territory of the the more up-to-date trailers. So we'll give that a rest and we will jump into game. And give you guys a little look-see at what the game has to offer. Now, no, none of the creators out there have got early access to this. So we're all starting at the same part right at the beginning. And so we're going to have to build up our outpost. I've literally just got the first gun. You start without any guns in the outpost and you have to defend it by hand. So that's uh, always an interesting one. You only start with one base operative. This operative, however, um, cannot die. It has plot armor. And so you will always have one character. But all the other characters that you could acquire through the game will be killable permanently if you lose them in a fight so there is some real consequence if you take too many risks uh, right I believe we need to proceed to the border woodland and we should start to unlock another gun get some more loot and you can see all the different types of enemies here that we're gonna get these ones are a pain they chase you around everywhere Please confirm right let's operation. get to it 
Difficulty Commander 1. Of outpost 11. And we'll Fade just go. Track. We'll just go. With all the difficulties, you kind of got like the main stage selection. And then within each one, there are different levels. And the higher the levels, the better loot you'll get. And then here, you choose your route. So we're starting here. And you have to get back to this start point to extract with all the loot that you find in all these different missions. Now, if you wanted to, you could find a route and you go here, then here, then here, then here, then, you know, all the way around the map. Like, even all the way around here, then back here. But you will be so loaded with loot, you won't be able to bring it all back. And you'll eventually run out of energy. We can see up here, I've got 153 energy out of 153. Very, very limited energy supply, but you can upgrade that by building extra stuff onto your base. And then you can go for longer tours. But basically, you want to be doing either like a, a quick like two or three, like this one here. Sometimes there's a just a simple two mission and back to start. But with this, we do have to get up to here for this like the story part of the mission. So we're going to be doing one, two, three, four, five and back. Ooh. If we can afford it power wise. We've got 25, 25, unknown, unknown, 25. Alright, we'll go up first. Heading for the target area. Let's go. Let's go, Spanj. Loading doesn't take very long at all. And then we'll get dropped in. Raring to go. Is another thing. Each map, although the maps aren't very big themselves, and um, we can only really go within this blue circle, so this map is a really, really small map. But um, yeah, you'll get different uh, objectives within the same map. Sometimes, and you'll get different like weather, and sometimes there'll be a raid in the middle of the map. That'll happen like on a, on a cooldown or if you've um, bumped into too many enemies at once that can trigger like a raid on your base as well. There's no full damage which is handy for jumping off of tall things. Okay, what have we got? Can't see any enemies as of yet. So we'll need to find a key piece and pop it in here. Uh, where am I? I turned around too quickly. Oh, there we go. Uh, Command mode is here. We haven't got anything pinged on the map, so we're just going to look around. We've got little bits of ore that we can pick up, and that will take up one slot of space in our inventory. So you've really got to manage your inventory. Some of the stuff will be uh, stackable it's up to like a certain amount as well, but it all depends on the, the item itself. Different items stacked to different amounts, as well as be different sizes. I'm on the lookout for any bots that are just going to jump at my face. Never fun when they do that. Oh, ammo there. Lovely. I can hear one. He's got to be the other side of this wall. Can I get that? No. Sometimes you'll get stuff spawning in the floor. It's a bit jank sometimes. Uh, but... It's not too big a deal. You don't really lose out on anything big. It's just like random stuff like the these things that spawn on the floor here. Nope. We do not want him. He will jump on our face. They jump on your face and they explode. Not fun. Not fun at all. There's another guy in here. There he is. Oof. So you notice in the bottom left I have two health bars. I've got one for a shield. You can shut yourself in for security. The robots can't open doors. Some really dumb but smart robots. Um, yeah, so the blue one's a shield, and you can refresh that um, just by like finding armor plates that you find around the level. And the white one is my health. It used to be that it would respawn your health if you go near the base, uh, the shield, but it doesn't anymore, sadly. What have we got here? Underbarrel laser sight. Okay, so the gun itself looks like a pretty much standard handgun, but you've got things like barrels that you can put onto them, different sights, stocks, uh, as well as the slot, which I think this can go into. And each of these can give you bonuses. Like this was giving me 33 attack, this one's 30, 
This one's 29, so this is stacking up the attack quite nicely on this weapon. Uh, I'm missing some gloves, boots, and a stock. Alright, so I don't think there's actually too many bad guys in here. But we are going to run around and we're going to pick up all the stuff. All this, all these different bits, fiber, plant extract, it's all used to build stuff. And we need all of it and lots of it. Macarines, gather. Pick up. There we go. Warning. Thunderstorm Oops. outbreak. Oh Watch joy. For lightning strikes. Now I've got to dodge lightning strikes. Jolly, jolly good. Okay. I like these little kind of open warehouses. They are pretty good for picking up loot. I swear I heard something. You gotta be so jumpy in this. Occasionally you'll find these electric balls. These orbs. There are sometimes puzzles. Ah, there we go. Like this over here. And you... What was that? Lightning bolt. You can chuck it in there like a game of kind of basketball. So I'm just going to pop that down there for now. Don't run away because we need to attach this to the base. And this has gone like this mega stretchy, stretchy wire. And we need to attach it to our core tower. And it will help charge up our power. Um, depends on the um, the type of add-on you find. Sometimes, whoa! What the hell was that? That was a lightning strike. Let me know if the game's too loud. If the volume's good. Oh man, that did ha damage straight to my health. It didn't even touch my shields. That is evil. Dang it! Uh, I won't activate this straight away because I've got less than 30 used so I want to actually while I'm inside the building I can command from where I am over here I can command the base to make me some ammo and that should yeah that would have used some of my materials and four energy Ooh, just about 30 so we can try oh, turning this on now so we need to throw it's kind of like a physics based puzzle and there'll be another ball around somewhere as well that we need to find. And when they combine, they uh, they they do the magic of powering up the outpost. The has ended. There we go. What we got here? Boosters then unstable. Nice, nice, nice. I'll explain the uh, the gun boosters in just a minute. Let me see if we can just see if we can find that other ball. Sometimes it's in the tower. Nothing in here. It's funny, you watch the trailers and the trailers are all action, action, action. And what we really have is uh, <laughs> lots of grinding and farming. Ah, yes, there we go. There's the ball. So, if we just go... And that charges the base. That line is now charged. We can see... There you go, there's 12... 12 power we got. Sometimes you get 15, sometimes you get 12. It can be 30 sometimes as well. Now, what happens if you go outside of this barrier? You get this warning. And basically, these pillars here that you see in the trailer as well, they fall on your head and kill you. Like, immediately. Which is really annoying, because sometimes you get like POIs like this, which are just outside. Sometimes they have loot on. Oops. Ooh, not good, not good. Ooh. Risked it too much for a biscuit there. Alright, have we got anything over here? Uh, these these early missions are normally pretty easy. I was definitely expecting more enemies on this one. But this is just like one of like a few runs. We've got five missions that we're gonna be doing this time. So let's just quickly just double check over here. Not missed anything. Oh there's another bit here, get that, mm, nothing else, oh maybe in the van, there we go, we can use some of the power to reclaim wreckages, but some of these vans can be opened and so you can like go in the back of them and, and find like goodies and loot and all sorts. Open. So not all the car wrecks can be like reclaimed like this one can't be reclaimed. Okay. 
And that would have got us more material, so now we can spawn more ammo or we can use it to build defenses and stuff. But the static defenses that you can build, so we can build uh, walls and basically test the coils, they would get put on the ground here. And so when we get up and leave to go to the next mission, they will get left behind. So they're, they're no good to us now, but they will be good to us at the end. So with this, we can chuck these in. Basically want to just give it all the stuff that we don't want to keep on us. So the ore, we want to keep lock picks, armor plates and ammo. So you've got ammo boxes and then like individual ammo stacks that the gun can use. Basically you've got these two because the, the guns, the, the, the big weapons that you have on the base, they will be consuming these ammo boxes while we use these in our, in our main weapon. So this unstable one that we got earlier, this is Booster Zen, they basically go in our weapon in here and you can have a certain amount per weapon and this is easier to show outside of a level uh, rather than inside because you can like see how many slots it has and stuff. But what we'll do now is we will uh, just move that there, go for recovery. Oops. Pick that up. If you don't pick up any ammo left in here, you lose it. Absolutely lose it. As you can see, this has now fallen off because we've used it and solved that puzzle. We've got one gun here, thousand ammo. These things used to have five hundred ammo. Oh, praise the ammo. Okay, nothing came, so we can just end the level and we move on to the next one. Easy peasy. Now, as I said, this is just like early days level so these are super super easy okay so after that we've got uh we can expand the container so we can take more stuff back per level or we can get an extra container that we can dump our stuff into uh this will be more useful uh, at this stage of the game anyway right this is what we need we need to get a uh, high possibility of food and ammo whoop de doo uh, but we do need to go here because this is like the main objective for this one. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. A few seconds, we'll get to loading. So each of the, like the main core difficulty levels will be like a different area. So from after the woodlands area, I think you go to the snow biome, and then after the snow biome, I think it's maybe like the mountain biome, desert biome. Uh, there's quite a few different ones uh, to go through, uh, each with its own corresponding difficulty level. Oh, goody. Can't see any bad guys from here, which is good. We've got tanks here. These can all be um, juiced up into parts for us. But we don't need that right right now. What we do need is parts to help us build the base, because we definitely need more stuff. And once we're done with these uh, run of five levels, hopefully I can build some extra stuff and add it onto the base. So here is a good example. Uh, if you've got a key card, you can use the key card to unlock. Uh, it's two different key cards unlocked here, or you can use power from your base to short circuit the lock. Generally, I would advise looking around because you would, you might well find a key card. And you can save yourself the power, which we know, as I explained earlier, we need to get around. And the more power we have, the more places we can visit. Lovely gold. Gold is really good because um, although you can sell different things within the game uh, back at base, you basically will go to the shop and you will buy like different things that, that are on offer at that time there'll be like a rotating shop that changes pretty much every run there we go and I, I just picked up a, a zen out of this as well uh, picked up a purple one so that's actually going to be a really good one you get your standard kind of white green blue purple gold and then i think red is the top tier and that goes for all the loot as well which is really cool it's easy to see when you've picked up something good or something bad now i won't waste that in this because i will definitely die at some point which means i will lose this weapon and well if i lose the weapon then there's literally no point in me putting it in 
but later on for sure and then you want to make good combinations as well uh, through the level you'll find these consoles and you'll see this thing gives me an extra gun and I can basically hold on to that until the very end level and deploy it then and we'll see if we can find the key card for this building elsewhere in the level and that will let us basically through from there into this section of the building so we don't need to bust it open let's see anything here Lots of those ores. Now I am going to need lots of the ores, but I'm not going to... Well, I'm going to try not to pick up too many of these. Only if they're, like, really where I'm going. Because, yeah, this... <laughs> Ideally, I want to pick up every single one on the level. But that is very, very time-consuming. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any big key loot. Sometimes there'll be loot that is, like, late pointed out for you within the level. Oh! We've actually got a person here. Jesus, I thought it was done for. <laughs> what accent is that? <laughs> okay. Luckily, we didn't lose anything. That's a really odd accent. I haven't seen an outpost in action for ages. It takes me back to the time when I just made squad later. I, I can't tell if it's an American trying to be an Australian or a British person trying to be American oh, he's just a dodgy accent good lord we are going to see a lot of dodgy accents in this I saw uh, one of the voiceover lines um, basically call a turret Tourette's as in when you swear lots and have ticks I'm like this, that's got to be AI voiced but it did make me chuckle. Right, looks like we just had to find her. And I'm not seeing any other loot lying around here. Uh, a lot of these maps can be randomly generated, so you will find stuff that's just kind of buried. But it kind of goes with the destroyed, like, post-apocalyptic vibe that's going on. There is a whole big intro story like hour hour and a half long mission like start to this game and yeah that's that's what i did earlier so you guys didn't have to sit through it because it is it is quite a bit another thing i like to do here um, is make sure i get plenty of ammo because i can put it into here to make sure i keep stock up at the base uh, let's make sure we get all these in. And what I've done here as well is I'm storing armor plates in here. So I'm not carrying them in here. Because this is super limited on a per run basis. So anything I can put in here is saved for the very last extraction run. Which is basically going to save you a whole bunch of space in your personal inventory. Because if you don't have space to pick something up and this is full, then you're screwed you won't you'll, you'll have to pick and choose what you want to bring with you so let's just get this underway uh, it's saying defend which means we might be getting a raid at least a mini one we'll see there it goes no okay didn't have to defend perfect on to the next one three more to go and then we get the big extraction mission And I can guarantee you all some action there. Okay, so we can either have more powerful gear can be found, or upon recovery we will be granted three random stacks of materials of epic or above in your storage. Hmm, I'm going to go with more powerful gear, because I definitely would like to find more gear. Power 55, power 35. Well, we do need to get back, so... Can we just, can we skip straight back? I'm not sure. But we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. Let's go. Alright, I wonder if my chat's working. I see 20 of you. Make sure you're hitting the like button if you're enjoying it so far. Do say hi in the chat. I don't mind you lurking, but at least say hi. I do like to see the names behind the, uh, the lurkers. Oh, there we go. 
the base has decided to lay down some justice and democracy. Oh wait, wrong game. Against these bots. I can't wait till later on. Once we've got a few more Zens that we can waste and mix together, you can really make some powerful, powerful combos. Just like you've seen in the trailers, they weren't kidding when you've got like the rapid fire, shotgun spread, fire ammo producing weapons going on. You can get some really, really cool combos. Anything hiding under here? Bit of ore? Anything down there? No. Ricky, look at all these things, man. The world got absolutely trashed. We've got a big building here. We'll go in from the top. But be careful. There could be a robot behind any of these doors. They always shut the door. Feel so much more secure if the door shut. <laughs> okay, anything else? Nope. When you in, in when you're in the buildings like this, it gives me uh, seven days to die vibes. Oops. Trigger happy. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the main mission item. Not every mission has these, as we've seen on the last two missions. But, uh, yeah, the ones that do have them, you cannot leave until you've picked it up and brought it back to your outpost. It is absolutely essential. I heard something. Oh, this thing scared the head out of me. It's a mannequin. Oh, I thought it was a new enemy. Oh, it freaked me out. All right, I don't think we've got anything else. It's a saxophone. Very hexagonized. Hexagon Vestigan saxophone. I'm also taking my time here because I can, but some of these missions do have a time limit on them. Either a time limit to when you get attacked or a time limit to um, extract on time. Definitely got to keep your wits about you. Oh, turret base. As you saw, that was purple there. Definitely something you need. I can hear stuff. It's creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Okay, we've got some machines in here. No other loot. Broken TVs. There we go. Some loot. Right, this will give us extra Titan Spike. I will take it. Now, if you see look, in the middle there, it's very, very brief, kind of blink and you miss it. But it w it says um, that chasers can spawn, which are like the doggos. I think there is something outside. There he is. That's what I was hearing. Right, let's take these guys. There we go. Okay, we the tank. This thing can't be dismantled. Any more loot outside? It's really weird. Sometimes you find bottles of stuff that you can pick up, and sometimes you just see like bottles of beer. Oh, can we break them? No, no, we can't. A waste of a perfectly good bullet. Oh, there we go. I see a couple of you in chat now. There we go. No, but you'll know I'm watching. Yes, I want to know that you're watching. Are you not entertained? Good to see Blade, Pedro, Ivan. Happy to have you all here. Hope you're enjoying all the bot explosions. I'm gonna kill these little bastards. Because they will no doubt kill me later. Damn it, where is all the loot? I forgot how loot constrained these early missions are. Oh. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Jesus. Was not ready for that. Was not ready. These 
human looking guys come from? God damn. Come on, die. They're not gonna run around and come for me. Oh no, he's just falling down a bit. Come on. You can die now. You. I'm surprised they didn't jump me when I walked past that place. Good lord. So later on you can get things like double jump and stuff and you can also get like grappling hook kind of gloves and stuff. It all depends on the equipment. Like this. What we got here? Oh, backpack is full. See, this is what I mean. When you fill up like this, that's it. I can't pick up more stuff until I drop it off. I always check around see if there's anything that I've already picked up. I can just pick up another, like that, I can add to the stack that I've already got. Then I know what I'm coming back for. So I'm just coming back for a chest piece, which definitely do want, because that's green, and I think I've only got a white chest, so that is definitely going to be an upgrade. Oh, I need to go in that place, and on the roof. Yes, loot! We want it! Right, let's get this stuff in here. This is the main mission item, as said, mission item. This thing, it's a turret base. Now, to make a standard turret, the basic of basic turrets, we need a turret barrel, turret base, and a pivot section. And you need all three of them just to make one turret. And then later on as well, we'll have turrets that are made out of other turrets. So that one turret, is three different separate components so you both need to be on the lookout and have RNG swing your way so you can find all the pieces now if we jump up here okay. there's always stuff on the roof now this is going to make me look like a liar because now there's nothing on this specific roof but generally there's always stuff on the roof shelf 25 how did you pick it Weird, I've never seen the shelves have HP. Maybe we can get rid of these. Maybe. Oh no, not at one point. That'll take forever. One of the things we used to do in the testing, when we ran out of lock picks to break through some of the doors, uh, well, unlock some of the doors, is we'll just kick them in. But for every door that you break down, it will basically up the danger level there's always a danger level to the to each mission and as you up the danger level different enemies will spawn and yeah things can get pretty bad if you up it too much now this thing fuel fuel can be used in a few ways um, both in mission and out of mission so in mission you can use it to, to, to power things either stuff that you find like a, uh, a generator or something which can maybe unlock a door for you. Uh, oh, I forgot that chest piece, didn't I? Or you can use it outside. Its main use is going to be for the endless mode. You need 50 fuel. Uh, at least we did in testing. You need 50 fuel to go into an endless mode. And that's just total. So that depends if it's just you or you and three friends going into endless mode. It's the same cost. Hey, Nick, good to see you. An endless mode is where this game, oh, oh, it's, that's what you want. Once you've got three awesome buddies and you all know what you're doing and you jump into endless mode on this game with a, a base that can take it, oh, that's where the game shines. So much action going on. Okay, so here we go. Jumping up from the basically something that gives me 11 armor for something that gives me no armor but gives me defense rating and if you look at the bottom there's a survival so grants five percent movement speed and defense for five seconds not sure what triggers that but it's extra so that is definitely all a groovy patootie uh, let's see vest when taking damage your armor grants one stack of survival ah okay there we go when taking damage so yeah that is infinitely better than what we've got on That'll swap, and then we can put that old armor in here. And we can either keep it for if we die. Because if we die, while we don't lose this initial base character, we will lose 
all the bits of loot that I have equipped will get a basic gun and then the sight, the barrel, the slot, the helmet, the armor, everything in my backpack will just be lost. So, got to be super careful there. Uh, we are at max uh, material. Whenever we're at max material, always make sure I try and use a little bit of it just so we are keeping optimal. Because yeah, you will you will you will end up picking up stuff. The tower itself will like deconstruct anything in the blue range. So if we spawned and there was a tank here, it would have eaten it by now, and it would have just turned it into material for us, we could, which we can turn into more ammo or more other things later on. There we go. Four, three, two, one, done. On to the next mission. Let's go really weird it was only the very last test we did and now the live version that we had to say end the mission you should just do it automatically once everything is extracted okay what we got limited time amp at the end at the start of expiration day you gain a buff that increases attack by five points for 10 stacks decreases by one second every 30 seconds each kill gives you gold yeah we'll do that one so that could be good for like the last mission. Right, how much power we got? We are running out of power. If that's 35. This was, I think, 35 or 25. So that'd be 70 total. So if, if I don't use any power, we should be good to get back, I think. Heading for the target area. We'll have to see if we can find a, a recharge station, get some extra power added in. Alpha Z on Lurker here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to lurk. It's all good. Just thank you for saying hello. Hi there to Matej and Serena. I'm super excited to experiment with the bases. I hope base diversity comes down to personal preference and not a meta slog. There is a lot of personal choice in what you want to do. There are obviously some things that you have to have and that would involve things like the ammo makers. So like we have the ammo maker in here it's manual but you can get an automatic one that just spits out every like 20 seconds or whatever it will spit out more ammo for free but i think it uses like three of these to make one of those and it's sort of like later tech that you need to unlock but there's that and then you've got auto ammo loaders so there's there's like certain things that you have to have on your base as well as like we need to up the amount of storage we can have the power and materials we can build more um, and things like that but in terms of weapons, if you want to go all lots of small guns, medium guns, big rail guns, it's all up to you. Damn it, I need to find a car that still has its wheels. So I'd like to show you guys that. Uh, where are we on the map? We are right at the back. Okay, we'll go this way. If I can find a car, I was hoping to show you that you can take the wheels off. Ooh, he got close. Gotta be careful. I always run everywhere in games, and it's always my downfall. Everybody game, especially most recently Helldivers 2. I'm always running, and I'm always out of stamina. Spange and, and Laney will attest to that. It's always stamina, stamina, stamina. You never got enough. Oh, there you go. In the middle, you'll do more damage. Oh no, I don't want a thunderstorm. Some of these tank wreckages have working um, barrels, which is insane. You can just get in the tank and like start shooting the tank barrel. Or the turret, not the barrel, sorry. Yeah, I guess pretty fun. Uh oh. Come on, reload. Yeah, any of these guys I don't kill, when it comes to extract, they'll all come running. So, best to take them out as you're going round, rather than leave it to chance. Where's all the gear at? God damn. Oh, let's see if we can get up this time. There's plenty of these jump puzzles, uh, so we need to go up this side. Come on. Oops. Why did it say oops? Oh, there we go. And then this side, and then, oops. Come 
Never usually have so much trouble getting up these. Don't say oops. Why does it keep saying oops? Infuriating game. Ah, normally there's like a shelf unit up here with loot on. We've got a terminal. A door has been unlocked somewhere. Uh, ah, there we go. To the big crate the whole thing was standing on. And inside here we have a cabinet with a vintage comic. We can sell that. And this massive thing here, that cryo barrel, we can shoot that and blow that up. And uh, next, some enemies if we really wanted to. In fact, we'll, we'll run around with it. We'll see if we can find someone. Oh, good, because running around with this with a thunderstorm would have been actually a really bad idea. I would have just got zapped and died. That would be no fun. Any bad guys? Any bad guys? Any bad guys? Anything up here? Nothing up there. Nothing there. Where's all the loot? Show me the loot. Oh, there's a bad guy. Let's chuck that. Damn it, roll past him. Did not explode. Sam stop. There we go. Made me jump. Bloody hell. <laughs> How is the gun diversity in game? It depends on what type of gun. Um, but actually, to be honest, both is pretty good. But it takes some time to get there. Or both. So your base you need to do re not only do research to unlock specific weapons and things but you also need to get the parts needed to build the weapons now part of that is built into the game they've built that into kind of the storyline like progression system as you go through the different difficulties you that you unlock there will be a thing where like oh you'll go get this new weapon and that new weapon and then you'll get like at least one of different weapons as you go through the game that way. Oh, no, I do not want to do that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit of both. And for the main weapons, like what I'm holding here, it all depends on the Zens that you find. So I've been finding those little kind of briefcases with like a, a toilet roll tube in, that sort of sized item. And they go in the weapon, they plug into here on your weapon. And basically the better weapon you have, in fact, this one shows that you, I can have four in this weapon. You can have uh, one ability, one uh, element, and then the rest of just is just boosters. And um, basically, so you can't have fire and ice or fire and electric, for example. You can only have one element and whatever boost or modifier you can only have one of. But the, all the other boosts you can have multiple of. Now this one can have four, but that's because this is a common item. And what you'll see is, and I wish I could move my mouse to kind of point at it, but um, under the word attack, you'll see that I have two different lines. So there'll be two different types of attacks. And I can put Zens into each version of the gun, and you can just switch between one and two at will while you're using the weapon. And basically, if I had like a, a gold level or red level base gun, I could put in like eight different zens into that thing so way way more powerful than this gun could ever be and you also have a ton more bonuses built into the actual gun itself in addition to those zen upgrades as well but yeah finding the right combo is is absolutely key absolutely key uh, so far i have not found a whole damn lot in this and i'm also running out of ammo so let me just open one of these up there we go, and as you can see, I should now have... I hardly had any. Contains two packs of ammo of a certain type, 1,000 in total. Well, that did not give me a 1,000 bloody ammo, what the hell? I am now very confused, what happened to all my ammo? Let's open up another one. I'll make that. Uh... Oh yeah, see now I've got a thousand ammo. There we go. That was super, super weird. Okay, right, if this place has nothing else... No, I haven't collected the alloy component. What the hell, where is it? Okay, another thing you can do here is you can select the tower itself. And you can do uh, an area scan, but it will cost you five power 
Uh, I really shouldn't spend the power. I need, I need to keep the power. Hold on, what does the generator run off? Maybe I can run the generator. Mm, that's healing station. Small generator requires... Uh, material. No, I need a new battery. If I can find one of these as an item, I can pop it in here and it can power up everything. So we're just going to have to find it the old-fashioned way. Oh, it's going to be out there, look. They haven't gone through that building yet. So yeah, not quite the same as all the trailers, eh? But to give you an idea of what different types of things you can have in your weapon, you could have... Um, this is then that makes a bullet hit harder the longer it travels, so great for sniper builds. You can also have the opposite. It will do higher damage the shorter range it does, and the longer it goes, the less damage it will do. So great for like close-up encounters and like kind of shotgun type rolls. Um, you've got um, spray or um, shock waves and stuff that you can generate so like when you hit something it will shockwave and maybe it will hit someone else and then that will shockwave so you get like chain hits there's gonna be bad guys in here isn't there yep oh jesus he jumped through the window what the hell i've not seen him jump through a window before at least not one that small okay are we safe safe ish so yeah these is this is one of the standard cars so you can open all the doors you can open the boot and the bonnet and there'll be a storage space that will possibly have stuff in. So we've got something there. Nothing else. We can also take the tyres. Now, unlike where we demolished an entire van earlier, removing the tyres doesn't cost you any power. Um, it gives you 10, basically, matter to build things with per tyre. And a chance of dropping either fibre or polymer. So that one gave us nothing. If you, you need to be looking on the right below the map, it will come up with stuff. If I, if I get an item drop. It's not going to do it now, is it? Nope. It's not going to do it. Oh, that's annoying. But yeah, you end up in needing a lot of polymer in this game. So yeah, if you see a car and it's got wheels, get the wheels. And it's also key for like extraction days where you need a bit more... Um, material to build maybe the the fences and or defenses to help you get through the extract mission. Come on. Some of these can be a bit fiddly if they're in the terrain. Oops, what we've, got here? we've got some fuel. I'm afraid that another one's going to jump out a window at me. No, do not do that to the car. No, that one didn't give me anything. There we go, that one gave me one fibre. So yeah, they can be useful for getting different things. Right, let's quickly do... Uh, look for more loot. Won't spend forever doing these little things, but the cars are a good spot that they like to hide loot. So always check in the boot and in the bonnet. There we go, look. more fuel there absolutely needed and what's cool about this as well is like you can build up all the smaller like minor items that you need like the fuel and stuff you will just keep picking up again and again bit by bit and so you don't need to like go on a run to prioritize it as long as you're trying to pick up everything Boy. Do not be making noises like that at me. Damn game. Shut them out. Right. Anything in here? No, don't do that. Does that go behind? Is there another entry? There's another door. If you see another door, like in there, there could be a way to get in without using a lockpick. And if you can save a lockpick, do it. Oh, uh, look, there's a guy in there. Now, they will glitch through the walls, unfortunately. But that does mean uh, if I shoot the part that's glitched through the wall, I can kill it. 
will just shoot him in the face. So yeah, a little bit of jank. What do we got here? A helmet. I don't think I had a helmet. No, I do have a helmet. Right, so this one will give me uh, extra movement speed. And this one gives me... I think that's the same. This one gives me defense instead of armor, which I think is a bit more powerful. So we'll switch to that one for now. Right, let's go check out in this room. Yeah, no, okay, that one does need a lockpick. Okay, so we'll do that in just a sec. There we go. Metal slabs. We'll definitely need those. Right, on to the next bit. Uh, do you need to perform maintenance to keep the gun? No, no maintenance needed whatsoever. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have ammo and you don't die. That's the important thing. If you die, you lose all upgrades, including all zen that you've put into your gun, like everything. Uh, occasionally you can buy back items that are kind of like salvage from your run or um, if you um, are, are very lucky, very very lucky, you can keep the character by having them go through medical treatment but not always going to be a thing. The AI in this game is pretty dumb though. Whew. There's another zen look. That's a grenade zen. Launches a grenade that explodes on contact. Uh, extra titan spike. I'm not going to get that one because it requires power to activate and we do not have the power spare right now. I really would like to find something like a battery. That would help tremendously. I can hear another one of the robot bastards is around here somewhere. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good bits of material there. There's a purple thing there. What is it? Oh, it's a turret base. I can't pick it up. Oh, okay, we have to come back for it. Actually, I will show you something else. Let me just do this last room. I'll show you how we deal with this. I wonder if that robot's on the roof. I haven't seen a way up yet. So, if you're full, like I am here, I've got like two slots left and you can rotate these as well by the way uh, I've got a 2x2 two two slot this requires a 3x3 three three. you can see it just in the top right hand corner of the purple frame itself there's a 3x3 three three, tiny little square and yeah so I can't fit that in my inventory but what I can do is hold it in my hand it means I can't shoot anything but I've had, got this place pretty much cleared out I've got the main mission item I just need to get back to base, which is thankfully marked on the map. And since we don't take full damage, I can just jump off this cliff and try not to use all my stamina. There we go. We can get back to the relatively good safety of our base. Oh, can we get you? Yes, we can. Lovely. Wish we had a bit more power though. Infinity says, hello, how is the game so far? Actually, pretty good. I'm just going to pop this down so I don't lose it. Uh, let me put this in. Pop that there. This all needs to go in. Right, now I should be able to pick this up. Nope. And it will tell you backpacks full, even though your backpack isn't full. It will not auto-arrange your backpack for you. It's a very, very important thing to note. It will not do that. Right, now we try and fit in basically all the other stuff that we picked up. Uh, and that's it. That's all we can fit in. So we have got a full load in this one. We'll send that to recover. Um, so yeah, the game is, is going pretty good so far. I really haven't come across any bugs other than some dodgy voiceover. Um, and maybe like dodgy script. Other than that, no, nothing that is non-functional. Although, I just remembered there's one thing I wanted to check. Once we deal with these guys. Oh, and I got a level up. Excellent. Right, that thing's done. Now, this thing used to have config. Oh, they have changed it. Beautiful. Oh, God. Okay, back in testing, this used to be a floating window that would, like, stick to here. But it would appear near the bottom of the screen, so... Um, 
if you weren't already looking down it would be off the screen and so you couldn't get to the controls so they have fixed it it was a problem since the very first test all the way to the very last test and i was getting really worried about it but in here is where you change the range so you can set a minimum maximum range for this gun specifically and you can give it a um priority so if you've got maybe a bigger gun that you want to maybe only shoot at the bosses you can turn off these smaller units and have it only shoot like big massive ones or if you want to shoot everything but prioritize a big massive unit you can then move these sliders to basically account for that now they only have three positions unfortunately um, so you only have those three different things you'll have to mix and match out of the uh, five different things obviously not everything can shoot at missiles but uh, yeah it's really configurable and you can do it on a per gun basis and hopefully haven't tested this although we can do that now is this should be um, like a permanent setting so we'll check on the next map whether this kept its setting we upped it from four to five thousand all right let's end this and go to the next map which I think was 25 power Ooh, weakness kill weakness hit kill amp or a firepower boost um, now I think because this one's purple this one is better because again these do have like the, the green blue purple orange dealios going on um, but we don't really have too many enemies okay we'll pick it we'll pick that one yes 25 I was right so we should be able to do this one and then we'll take all the list of loot back to the recovery day Heading for the target area. and I'll show you Heading another little area. trick that you can do uh, do you need a NASA computer to run it I'm currently running this off a AMD 8 core Ryzen 50 800x on a 6800 XT graphics card also from AMD so about kind of mid-range ish it's not super high-end um, it's not 3d cache or anything like that um, so I'm running it fine I've got it turned up pretty high currently getting around 55 to 60 frames per second with pretty high settings we just quickly dive into those give you a little look see uh, super sampling is set to FSR but I'm not using frame generation and I'm not using dynamic resolution either so this is pure I'm getting the frames that I am rendering um, V syncs off you've got all these controls I always turn off motion blur motion blur is terrible on this game always turn it off uh, I've customized the settings by t I turned up from what it gave me as default, from what it detected my computer could run, uh, I changed the shadow quality from medium to high, and I've also changed the view distance from medium to high. Other than that, all these settings, uh, oh, and animation quality from medium to high. Other than that, all of these are basically as they came, which is set to ultra for most of them. Um, it is a 16 gigabyte graphics uh, memory graphics card, so it can take the higher res textures. But I don't think this game has that many of them, like because you can see like things like that plane wreckage and the cars that we were taking the wheels off have really bad textures, and like stuff like this is really low res textures, which really doesn't contrast well with like the really good sharp looking textures you get on everything else. Like this is much cleaner, much better produced texture work than like this stuff. Now I know this is just scenery rubbish, right? But it's it's not great <laughs> it's really not great uh this one's locked and is this one open or are they both locked oh these are both locked okay we definitely have to look out for a key card oh let's see if we can go find some loot oh we can get on this tower there's be another jump puzzle to get up Uh, it says quick relocate on inventory. Oh, maybe they did add something. Uh, can we get up? Oh, no, we have to go out on this one. There we go. I will have a quick 
looks it oh, I'll budge on that in just a second. A quick relocate. Uh, oops. Some of these jumps can be really tricky. And some of these you literally just cannot make unless you have like the extra gear, like the double jump or the um, the, the gloves that can like pull you up onto stuff. No, okay, well, we'll just leave that one. I probably could get up there with a few more tries, but I'm not just going to sit around and waste your guys' time. We've got a game to play, and the next mission is the Extract. The one that we have all been waiting for, and the one that will get us back to base with new resources. It's all or nothing on that mission. All or nothing. What the hell? This is what I mean by bugs, okay? Like, he's walking through terrain. That's a bit jank. But, I mean, when you get things like this, where it's like objects stacked on top of objects to make it look like a rock pile, sometimes you can have issues with that. And that, that's true of any game. I've seen it in other games, too. Okay, we've got a... Oh, we got a bigger mech over there. That's that. He does not look friendly. And we got a big building to go through as well. All right, let's see if we can pick up the smaller guys first. there's any other guys around here now because we have got one cannon on our base now unlike when I first started off stream um, we can run back to the base and the base will cover us if we get in trouble if we can make it just want to stay out of the other guys line of sight now let me take this guy Got him. Well, I swear there was two others walking around here. Oh, there's one. There we go. Oh, and because um, I haven't been really been using it much because it's the base character and their abilities are kind of lackluster, but characters do have their own abilities. Um, this character's kind of got like a a free fire like infinite ammo for a short period of time uh, which can be really really helpful if you're facing off against a large wave of enemies uh, and I think the I can't remember what the other one is for I think it's a, a reduction on cooldown so maybe you can just quickly do the ability twice in a row hmm. come on there we go gotta get all this loot all of it yeah Random rock coming through the wall there. A little bit jank, as I said, but it is what it is. Once you get past like the initial grind, you start getting into the more difficult missions, it becomes a lot more fun with a lot more action going on as well. And I cannot wait to get there. Right, this, this POI is a dud, so we've just got this big building to go. So, a lot of the time, if you're clever, you can look around and there'll be alternate routes into this building. Um, which is good because there'll be um, there'll be areas within this building that are like locked off. That you can't get to unless you like go find one of these alternate routes. Or blow up a door or like lockpick your way in. Like So from here, like, we can jump up into here. Now this may or may not be an alternate route that gives us extra stuff. But it's certainly not taking the front door. Oh, no. Don't need to do that yet. No, okay, these are all locked. This one isn't locked. Okay. Anything over here? There's a lot. Like, in testing, there was not this much, like, general house stuff. And so it's like trying to find which bits are the real bits that we can pick up. Okay, this is the main hallway. Okay, so yeah, this isn't... That didn't get me anything, sadly. But we can still have a good old look around. Because we got to get that loot. Can, however, jump from balcony to balcony. Jump on the aircon machines, stuff like that. Sometimes it's needed. Uh, I don't think we can open these. This one can be opened. This one can't. Okay. Let's 
go back to where this was. So, as I said before, you can bust these doors down now. There is something in there. There's some uh, metal plates on the bed inside there, which would be worth getting. This one? This one I don't think has anything on the inside. But sometimes you can only really see once you get in there. But I've got limited... I've got one lockpick left. So what we can do is... Bust the door up. Oh, it's going to use way too much ammo. Come on. We will get in there. We will. The best part is trying to get away with unplanned jump areas. It is, and especially when you can't really go wrong with it because there's no fall damage. Oh. There we go. I told you we'd get something. Need that. Gonna need more ammo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, we'll do downstairs last. Okay, here we've got Oh, can't even power through that one. That is disappointing. Is that that looked like a bad guy? You know what I mean? Like a head with like antennas coming off the top. Ooh. Oh, I hate purple stuff like this. You see it and you're like, oh purple item, purple item! It's a good one! And it's not, it's just like a random bit of tat. Uh, always check the ceilings. There's cause there's holes through the ceiling sometimes. And you can uh, go fight oops. Didn't mean to shoot. Wasting ammo. Damn it. Uh, you can find alternate routes to, for jumping up through outpost attack buff. Nah, that's rubbish. Don't want that. Not worth the cost. Nothing on those shells. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, the outpost is shooting. Okay, top floor. Anything up here? Come on, give me some good stuff. Can we jump to anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Anything here? Oh, there we go. Valuable little thing that we can sell. Because you can find some really rare loot, rare loot in the shop as well. So, always worth checking. As well as all the lockers there. Damn, this place has been so light on the loot. Oh, man. Where is my loot game? Jesus, man, these lockers are empty. Everything's empty. Oh, keep going up. Made it to the roof. Nothing behind us over there. Anything on the roof? Nothing over here. Nothing over here. The annoying thing with these ladders, they're just for show. You can't climb them. Drives me nuts. Cardboard boxes, though. Wet cardboard boxes. Moldy old cardboard boxes. Totally can take your body weight with all the armor and everything. Right, and we'll just quickly give the ground floor a quick rinse through. There we go, already found some gear. Gloves! We do not have gloves. Scan gloves. Scans the 10 meter area around you, charges one cooldown 90 seconds. Brilliant. So we can just activate that whenever we want to help find items. That's actually really valuable and saves us a whole bunch on power. Excellent. Oh, was that something? Yes. Liquid metal. Need that. That is a key, key resource early on. Okay. Alright, give me some more stuff. Give me some more stuff. Not dead robots. Preferably usable items. Come on. This is what I mean by like holes and stuff you gotta look out for. Like that room could have been like locked, for instance, so that would have been like the only way in. Oh, sand chest, lovely. What do we get? Didn't, normally pops up. Another grenade, that's why, because it wasn't new. We get in that? No, lockpick. I want to save my lockpicks. Not going to be terribly important to do right now. It's so frustrating, they've added so many of these little pink things everywhere. It's tricking me! Damn it! Right, so let us head back the... which way is the base? Uh, explore and collect ally component. Do we not pick that up? I thought we did. 
Now I'm really confused. We did not find the thing yet. Oh, well, we have to do the glove thing. F. Oh man, that thing must be really, really short range. This hasn't popped up a damn thing. Ooh, uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Well, we'll chuck some of this in here so we've got room to pick up other stuff. Alright, let's go back to searching. There's still another one of those doggos somewhere as well. Uh, he's going to be over this way. You can see him on the map. Tiny little red speck. Probably stuck in some terrain. So we'll see if we can find him and kill him. Whoa! Cheeky boy! Hiding in the rock! So rude. All right, come on. We need to. We need to definitely find where the hell this thing is. It's not there. It's got to be somewhere else. We went through that whole place and didn't find anything. Crashed helicopters. Moldy old tanks. We're back at the base again. I wonder if it's in there. It can't be. No, it, it can't be in a place that we can't get to. So where the hell is it? It's not on this collapse thing. I wonder if it's hidden, like, in some of this wreckage. I've never had... A problem finding like the main mission objective. This is definitely a new one on me. I didn't miss it. Have you guys seen it? Chat, help me out here. What's going on? Have you guys seen a little box or a big box that I missed? Maybe we do need to jump across a balcony or two. Can't do it on this side though. Here, not here. It was here. So it might be in there. So we might need to do some parkour to go find it. Uh. Can we jump on anything? No, there's no way in there though. We need to get basically in there. I don't think there's a way in. Yeah, they do the front, but not the side that we need. God damn. Oh, there's something in there that I missed. See, this is what I mean. There you go. That was a locked door. We had one tiny little bit of loot that we could get out of that. Come on. Crouch, crouch, jump through the window there. Uh, I'll open that up. Can't open that up. Normally when you're near this thing, it will pop up. Yo, can hear you. Can or can't? Hope you can hear me. <laughs> I've been talking this entire time and no one can hear me. I will be very, very annoyed. My anger will know no bounds. There's nothing I can do about this. And it's got 90,000 health, so you, there's literally no way you can blast your way through that. It's just straight up not ever happening. I swear, if I've seen it, I would have... It would have popped up on the map. But it would give me a little thing pointing towards it. Maybe I need to just drop down in here. Yay, nay. Nay, so far. One's open a bar anyway. That's the back. This is the front. It's definitely not on the roof. Right, so we've been in there. We've been in there. We went on the roof of that one too, right? Let's just double check it. 
What is going on? Yeah, wasn't on the roof here. There's, there's literally nothing up here. It wasn't on the roof there. I'm glad this one doesn't have a timer. We would be absolutely screwed. Like, sometimes they will just, like, drop it on, like, one of these. Like, collapse floor somewhere. You just gotta go to the right bit to find it, but... I'm not seeing it anywhere. Nothing was really locked on the ground floor either, so... Hmm... We can't leave this mission without it! What the hell? Oh, maybe over here? This stuff? Please, maybe? Normally you hear it spawn as well, it'd be like, blink! No, not seeing it. Not seeing it at all. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, what we're going to need to do then is we are... We're going to need to do a scan. But we've only got nine power. Oh, which means I'm going to have to waste one of my things here. Actually, no, it's not really that much of a waste, to be fair. So this thing, this, this is like when you put down uh, an item. Oh, it's got a night time as well. Uh, this is the front, and you can see there, if I just come out of that, I can zoom in. It's got little arrows pointing to you forwards, so we can pop this down. This expands our area, and you can see that it's already started mining stuff that's in the new area. Uh, but this is in like attack mode, and you can change it to um, that mode, I think. Provides energy to spikes and electric mode. Yeah. yeah, so this should power the base at this point. When it's like this, it should it should power the, power the base or power the core. At least it used to provide fire. They might have changed it. Uh, not fire, power. It doesn't f give us any power. We won't be able to do an area scan. Oh, it's only five power. Okay, there's tons of stuff behind us. What the hell? Oh, don't tell me it is in there. The thing we need is in here. You are kidding me. But we can't get in. We haven't found a single... <sighs> we haven't found a single keycard to get in this. Uh, I don't think you can break this, these doors. You have to use power. There's no way they bricked this mission. The only purple thing left from the scan was in here. There was nothing the other way. Oh, no, wait. Oh, don't tell me it's stuck underground. No, it's just sitting on the ground. Oh, my God. So sorry, chat. I'm an absolute bloody imbecile, it would seem. How did I not see that? Didn't we go straight past this wreckage? Oh! Hate to think how many of you I've lost in the short time that we've been wasting. Can you break the cracked walls? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Right, there we go. That, that. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go to bloody recovery day. Oh, bloody hell. Can't believe it was so hidden. Oh! You buggers. And we lose, we lose that Tesla core thing as well, which is a bit of a shame. There we go. And end. I don't know what was attacking us and where. Hmm. All right. We got a big list of stuff that we need to bring back. Okay, this should be it now. Uh, let's see, good start. Officers will have higher speed of movement for a short time at the start of the day. Uh, when recovery day ends, 
double three stacks. Oh yeah, sure. That, that sounds amazing. Recovery day, return to base. Right, so. This is a whole section for this. At the bottom is our recovery time. This is how long we need to survive for before they send down a dropship to pick us up. We have got to hold the line with our base against waves of enemies for 90 seconds. That's without taking any of the loot that we found. That is just the main objective items which you have to bring back. Okay. Now, the more I put in, the more this number will go up. So, like, I really want to bring the turret base. Oh, look. Now it's 207 seconds. Over double. Not good. Now, if we jump to the top here, we can see our maximum timer is 400 seconds. That's quite a long time to be defending the base against hordes and hordes of enemies with only one gun. So, you see the dilemma here. Get too greedy and you will get punished and if you don't get all your loot out you lose the loot and then you get sent down an emergency shuttle which if you can get on you save your character but generally if you're overrun you've got to run around the map till that thing comes down and you will get overrun personally as well and you will lose the character so we want to make sure that we get at least this turret base right so here's the trick uh, if we go to here, we get access to our own character's inventory. So we'll move some of this over here. And we can take the most expensive items. Now, we can see the credit value of these items. This is worth 168. We'll take that with us. Superconductive material, 36. That's a high one. We've got a stack of two basic materials here. That's only six. That's not a lot. Uh, the Zens are not a lot. Grenades, not a lot. But th this all does slowly add up. Metal slabs, that's 12 extra points there. We'll take that with us. This one's 10. The, the liquid metals are quite expensive as well. There's another 10 there. What else have we got in here? Lots of little stuff. Yeah, anything expensive like the vintage magazines there'll be a lot of points the copper cups you get bronze cups and gold cups very expensive but they sell for a lot of money All right so they will raise the difficulty up quite high so we need to leave a little bit of room to possibly pick up any loot that may drop from the extraction itself but generally it's not that much so we just need to see if there's anything else that's kind of worth us taking by hand there we go another vintage comic there because they only stack in threes and we've got five comics we can sell that for like 42 so we definitely want to keep those uh we got a whole bunch of this this all adds up as well look for the ore that's five ten fifteen nearly twenty with that oh, more vintage comics so much bloody stuff and we'll sort that there we go right so now we can come back here and we can hit the put all in that is my maximum time this is danger zone preferably i want it back here if i can so we are going to have to take some extra stuff now the way to prioritize this once you've got the expensive stuff is that you are going to want to take the smallest high expensive items so if you can find something that's like this is only worth six for a two by two, right? But then you could find this is also two by two worth six. So these two are worth the same as this one. But this one's worth a four. So these two are worth seven and this is worth a six. So these two would be worth taking out over this. And yeah, you just got to basically go through and just double check what you've got, how expensive is it, and can you fit it in your loot. Like the tens, they're probably the better option. I don't think we've got anything worth a five that's a single piece. Oh, the ammo boxes actually. We'll go through those ammo boxes, so we'll take some of those too. They're actually way more efficient. So we'll drop these back in here. And maybe one of these. I'll drop over these. That brings us down to 300. That's still a long time. 
Right, we don't need to bring the detectors back. They're a bit pants. We can leave some ore. The fiber I want to bring. Armor plates. Might be able to bring them with us on our person. The zens we will want to take back. Fuel we do. Compounds we do. Plant extracts are cheap. Oh, the gold. This should be on my person, actually. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that time difference from just the gold. Now, this is only worth one, but we've got 400 of them. So look at that total value change. 160 to 560. 293 seconds down to 116. So all of a sudden, it's no, it's no problem to put these back in. Just got to find the right thing. I don't know why that was not showing as um, as 400. That should show as 400, which means this thing is probably actually going to be 12. Let's just take that off. Yeah, that's actually worth 12. Okay, that's not how it used to work. It actually used to show you the, the full value of the full stack. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. We got it solved. We got it cracked. We got it cracked. This, this is what we need to sort out. So as long as we bring this back with us and we'll chuck these in here because we will use some of these for shorties. Oh, that's getting squeaky bum time tight. Okay, we are full, full, full. Oh, um. Oh, does that mean these are worth 25 each? These ores, bloody hell. Okay. And these comic books, that's, six, that's a stack of 60 then. Oof! Okay, right, I think we've got what we want. We've got 150 seconds to defend for, so short time, just over two and a half minutes, or nearly exactly two and a half minutes. Um, the number four here, that's generally a little bit of a break between waves. So you get like two waves, a bit of a break, another wave, and then this is like normally a boss wave. So yeah, you've got to be super careful not to get into this area, unless you want to fight a boss. It can be beneficial to fight a boss, because you, when you fight a boss, they can drop boss loot, and boss loot is, well, it can be quite valuable. Um, but for now, this is my first extract after like the beginner mission, so I don't want to push my luck. I have learnt my lesson. Uh, probably other people that have been playing this game for the first time chuck everything in and just getting absolutely curb stomped. Right, that's it. There is no changing that now. What we've got is what we've got. We get a short time before the first wave starts. There'll be a timer in the middle of the screen to help us prepare our defenses, check around for loot. So we're going to have to move nice and quickly here. Oh, I fell off. I did not want to fall off all the way. Run, 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 Because what I want to do is, if possible, drop some of these down. So I've got some inventory space for freed up. There we go. They'll stay here. I can come pick these up anytime and load them into this gun. We need to go to command mode. Now you can see there's already stuff on here to defend. And we've got some extras here. So we've got an extra thing here. We can pop one of these barriers in front. Now we've obviously got limited amount of resources. This is 40 resources. We've got 350 left. Uh, we've got some free weapons that we can chuck in. I normally pop these all the way back here. Uh, where we can defend them. They will go for these walls first. We can zap them with these and we can deploy these. No, that should be deployed. Yeah, they're deployed. That was a free gun that we got as part of a reward. Uh, good, 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 good. We've got 36 seconds left. How much? Uh, we can pop down maybe another one of these. Maybe closer to the base, like here, as a last resort. I don't think we're going to need it. I think we'll be okay. Right. Now we can have a quick, cheeky little look around for anything that we can find. As you can see, that there's like buildings and stuff we can go in here. Oh, okay, this one doesn't open. Fair enough. Uh, 
normally there's a little bit more to look around. There's only like one or two POIs that you could go around while this harvest more resources like trees and stuff. Uh, can we get in this one? Ah, we don't have a thing to unlock that one. If we had found any of the stuff, we could have got into that one. Okay, anything back here? No, okay. Let's make sure we can go help them fight. So, enemies will not always come from the front. In the higher difficulty levels, they'll start spawning from the sides. And uh, very rarely they will come from, like, side behind, kind of off to one side. But for now, this thing is farming up stuff here. We're, this, this has got a turret on top. This thing can get overrun and swarmed as these things come through. We can shoot the thing on the back here. It's a gas tank. Boom. And that will affect all the enemies around it. Now, one did roll down here. So we can, we can lob this back at them. Did it blow? Low? Yes? No? There we go. Got there eventually. Oh, bigger boys. These can be dangerous. Oh, okay, not too bad. We got the alternate fire mode. I don't know what this one does. Is this the explodey one? Yeah, it is. Haha. <laughs> So you can switch to your alternate fire mode. Oops, I need to reload for that to work. No? Why don't let me shoot? I don't know why. Can get back on it. There we go, 30 seconds left. And basically all of those bits at the back will have been brought back. Hasn't even got to our base. We could have gone way longer. We didn't even need to worry about it. But these, these guys are stacking up. But as long as you help out and you prioritize and you keep track of your ammo, normally you're okay. If you manage to eliminate all enemies, then the evac aircraft will be able to wait for you. Ooh. While you pick up all now this thing stopped shooting, so I think this thing has run out of Ooh! Ow, 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 ow. run away, run away, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. So yeah, I, could, I probably could have reloaded this somehow if I could have got to the top. If I had one of the grappling gu uh, grips on my uh, gloves, I could have got up there. But yeah, they they overrun. Oh, I'm out of ammo as well. Okay, uh, G. Get reloaded. Come on. I just reloaded this. And I think that is nearly everything. That's it. All of them are dead. Now we go around and we look for stuff like ore and whatnot. Doesn't look like there's anything to drop. Sometimes they drop like these little canisters, and they're very useful to have for uh, your research. And so yeah, you'll get you'll get different stuff drop. Uh, if this was an emergency extract, uh, that I would have a limited amount of time to get on that thing. So we can have a little look, see around, see if there's anything we might have missed. Don't think there is. We can go pick up that ammo that we dropped on top of the base as well. And then that's it. We have successfully got a whole bunch of loot back to the main base. We just need to go jump on this aircraft. So this is where all our loot was before. All taken, all back at base now. Jobs are good in. And basically rinse and repeat again and again and again and again until you have so much stuff that you have huge, huge bases that you see in the trailers. And that, my friends, is the game in a nutshell. But we'll see what we unlock, see if we got any uh, research points that we can put in. There's a whole, whole bunch of tech. There's so many different turrets. I never even got to use the nuke in the testing either. Really want to see how powerful that can be. 
back to base. You have just broken the recovery record, Bay. I love this as well. You get like a an ongoing tally of your like historical gains in terms of value that you bring back. You can see here like the this was the like the first proper mission on the lowest lowest difficulty level that I didn't have a gun on. Uh, this was like part of the introductory stuff, and then this was the mission that we just did. Development complete, that means some research completed. So you can choose to run around the different areas of the base, or you can just straight up use the map, which is a really cool map. Um, so we first want to go to research center. Where we have our maid here that seems to be doing research. Uh, right now she can do the Zen edits. So we got standard core gun. This is where you can see what you've got. Lock or unlock all. So if you don't want to edit something, if you've got a specific setup, but you haven't quite completed it yet, you can lock different slots, which is actually pretty cool. There's our two runs. So you can see, like, th this is what I have available. I have one slot available, and these are all locked. Can't use them. But on the much higher ones, we will be able to use those, and that's going to be cool. She also does the manufacturing. So this is where we will come in, and we can build new base pieces from the stuff that we found. So that scrap metal that we picked up and hoarded all the way to the end, that is going to help us build panels. Armored walls need the metal slabs in addition to the scrap metal. Doors need to also go in door frames, so you need to get both of these to have a working door. Uh, and then you have utility walls. Utility walls use liquid metal, but these are these are slightly different from standard walls because they've got different spots that you can put stuff on, like batteries. So this will give us more capacity for power, so we can have more power for every like route and run that we do. Uh, I don't have any capacitors, so I can't make one of these yet, unfortunately. But I might be able to make a capacitor, we'll have to see. And there we go, that, that's what I was talking about earlier. So we just got an extra turret base. We've now got two of those for the one needed. We've got the turret nexus, the pivot point part of the gun, and we're just missing a barrel, and we could make ourselves another turret. Now, we can make the turret bases <laughs> if we had the right stuff. We don't. Unfortunately, you can't make any of the other pieces of the gun, so you end up getting tons of these and not enough of the other stuff. Right, what do we need to... We needed a... Because uh, we really want one of these. A capacitor. Can we make a capacitor? No. Sometimes you can make things, sometimes you can't. So it's always good to double check. And then just over here, this guy. Victor Ning. He is our research guy. So... At the moment we can only do like junior level research and you can see that there is stuff like the ammo maker will need mid-level research but while we can do these these cost more research ability points to produce so you're going to be wasting your time and wasting your points trying to get these super super early um you level this up so these become cheaper once you put more people in the research center and we'll go over that in just a minute uh, i do want to start this because this is free so zero tech points because now i've done a certain amount of missions i'm getting this the first level of this for free and this is the really cool part as i said this part of the story you, you'll have to research the other ones like level two will cost like 25 points and take um 10 progress uh, I've only got 10 points, sadly, so I can't afford this. But I will be able to go show you what that does. Uh, armor plates can't... Well, can I research that? Is that free? No, it's not free. The time is free. It costs two points. And these are all a long amount of time. Don't really need to research that because you find plenty of those. And we have all of these researched already. So, uh, oh, let me just quickly check. Uh, two blueprints left. Okay, so some things are researched here, and some things are found out in the wild, in the levels. And this will tell you that I'm missing two. So we can still go find those by continuing to run the border woodland. So well, that's good to know. Now, I'll quickly 
because uh, I didn't really get to show you at the start of the stream. Tour mode. Uh, oh. Please confirm. Confirm. There we go. So yeah, these are the, the, the different difficulties. I, I thought there would have been another one added as well. Above hard. But maybe that only becomes visible once uh, you've you've unlocked hard. But yeah, you do like one level in this. There's there's no breakdown of levels. Border Woodland is, was the one that we saw had three different levels. And we've done level one of that. So we can do level two if we run it again. So that's super cool. And once we've done level three, we'll unlock normal. Uh, which will be the snow, and then we can go up to hard with the city ruins. Please. But just coming out of this, and we will go to uh, the hangar because we unlocked the first core level, which means we can now upgrade it. And if we do that, it goes through this whole fancy animation, which is super cool. I do, I do love the way it presents your outpost. It's not super impressive right now, but once you've got your outpost built up, seeing it come out the floor is just super epic. And you can just like leave it like doing this kind of poor turn around uh, if you want to, and it will tell you all the different stats and stuff about your outpost. But the keen eyed among you will see that the base plate of the base is now bigger and this is huge it's a huge huge upgrade we have got one extra spot all the way around so what we can do with this is event i won't do it now um but i can show you just a little bit is i will move this entire base i'll keep it the same but i'll move it back one and that will give me two squares worth of space these two squares worth of space free to just put stuff on. So I can put things like the tester coils and those defensive walls on the base. If I put them on the base, I keep them with me through the entire run. So it gives you a good way to like dump resources. So if you hit max resource and you can put down a couple of things that just cost resources to make. And then you through you go through a couple more levels and you farm back up again to max. So by the time you hit the end for the big extraction, you've got some built-in defense added to your walker, added to your outpost, and then you can just add even more around it, and you just have a more tankier situation. Especially when you've got stuff where you can add in extra guns that you pick up and stuff like that that they can give you for free as rewards for levels. So I will want to move this entire base back now. I can just remove, straight up remove uh, parts of this um, by picking it up and, get, uh, and moving it. Or I can just um, hit X and it will just put that item back in my inventory. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pull these walls away just to show you the inside here a second. So very limited space. You saw me running around on the inside here. To get up to the stairs here and then go upstairs but there's some important stuff going on here so all the power in your base comes from your core tower so if this thing gets destroyed that is the end of your outpost and you you're on an emergency extract for that mission so definitely want to avoid that at all possible times but the way it spreads power is through these floor panels so you need floor panels connected to stairs these stairs transmit that power and then sorry the the movement is a bit jank kind of like god mode flying around um, but there's no like up or down movements you have to like look down and pull back to go up um, and so yeah the power will come up the stairs and then this will power other stuff so if I did not have those stairs there or the stairs went up to somewhere else and there was a break like if I take that bit out you can see now Oops. that you, you see that that power pop that there. the power is missing and it's telling me look these floor pieces do not have power so if I put turrets or usable components on these they will not work because they are not connected to a power line so you have to really think about your base design once once you get later in the stages where they are gonna breach your base if you're not careful 
So you need to make sure where they do breach, they're not taking down stairs. Because if they take down the stairs, or if you get missiles coming in and they come in and they come and hit at the top, and you haven't got a spare set of stairs on a much bigger base, you've just got the one, and that breaks, your entire base is getting powered down, my friend. And that is not going to be a good time for you. Um, another cool factor about this, though, is, as you can see here, you can actually overhang, so you can get yourself a little bit extra build area, which is a little cheeky. Oh, there we go. Pop that back in. Now, you see that the numbers change when I pop that back in, like the power connecting and the numbers. So, each of these parts of the building have different stats. So, pop that there. That has plus 200 health. It's getting that 200 extra health from the armored wall because it enhances the uh, HP of the components that are next to it. Same for, like, if I put this one in, this one gets another 200 HP. Pop that there, and then what was this one here? I think so. Yeah. I haven't got those the right way around. Yes, I have, good. Yeah, so when you add stuff to your base, though, it will reduce the amount of, um, power and stuff that you have so if I put in this spare tile here my maximum amount of material that I have goes down by two and this can also affect your core output so the higher this number the higher that blue circle gets so you can like draw in more material for free as the, as the tower just processes it for you and you'll get that by adding certain bits to your tower but there'll be certain stuff that takes away from the core output so you can see on here if, I, if we look at the armored wall here we get two bonuses we get reflective shock so it'll electrocute attackers you get the structure enhancement which is that that boost and you can see when i put it down everything around it gets 200 and then the red one at the top here that's the material load so that decreases the max resources and that's two for this one as well so you can imagine when this base gets like triple the size and how many you can't just stack it up with wall after wall after wall because you you won't be able to have you, you won't have any resources to build anything or might make ammo or build defenses and you, your power will come down in value so you've got to offset it by having boosted parts like more batteries uh, generators stuff like that so I need to make these batteries and then there's also uh, there's like a small generator type thing but there's it's like a power booster instead or well, material booster but I haven't got it unlocked I can't show it to you unfortunately it was really frustrating wish they would have given us early access I could have had like a good base prepared for you guys and really shown you some some cool stuff Got to go to bed, Kay. Bet you're doing awesome, mate. Keep it up. Keep being awesome. Thank you, Spanish. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you have a good evening. Get some rest. Oh, no, not the stairs. Anything but the stairs. Exactly. If the stairs go, you're screwed. Especially on smaller bases. You, you nearly always will stack up all your turrets at the top here. Eventually, your, your base will go to five wide at the front. You kind of have like a T shape. And so you can fit more weapons along your front line. But again... That one weakness point, boom, everything gets powered down, which is just, yeah, you do you do not want that. Do not want that. Now, a cool thing that we didn't have in testing, paint. I do like this orange and white. It looks pretty clean. The red one's kind of triple colored. Do not like these greens. And I do not know how you unlock these. So I am very much looking forward to figuring out how these unlock because this is all new to me but I also thought that we could um, apply paint selectively so I'm not sure how that works either because this is just this paint mode I can't select anything and if I select a paint color it does the entire thing now we we're supposed to do this selectively so I don't know if they if that was wrong or if I'm misinformed about that so not sure but I will endeavor to find out for you guys at a later date uh, and you've also got uh, a photo mode as well so you can like totally put filters on and stuff make it look crazy cool 
So yeah, that's that's basically all the editing that we can do. Unfortunately, we can't build anything extra because we do not have anything to put on the base. I wish we had another gun, but we need another barrel. Uh, quick question: Could what's that say? Could there's a bloody heart in the way from the chat? Quick question: Do you know how to use Zen? Yes. Um, so when you're out and about with the Zen on your person, you can hold Q and you can select. Uh, well, first you need to make sure you've you've selected the right firing mode that you want to do because you've got two firing modes per gun. Once you've got the right firing mode, you can hold Q and then you select the slot and then you select the Zen. And you can either replace a Zen that's already there or you can add to a free slot. Providing you stick to the rules that I explained earlier, which was only one elemental, uh, only one type change and then the rest has to be boosts. Uh, that's if you've got the slots to do so. Obviously, the weapons that we had, the common level items, only have two slots. So you can't really put in like an, an elemental, a boost, and a, a type change. So you, you have to pick and choose, basically. And it also depends on what you can find. Uh, there should be somewhere in this game uh, a... <sighs> there should be a firing center somewhere I'm just trying to figure out where it is medical center defense division logistics division intelligence mm. well you can modify the Zen in the research center but I'm not quite sure how that works because I've not done it through that section before love you everyone kept telling me different keys different keys for what oh for the changing the zen yeah it's just hold q it's just hold q i showed it a few times earlier on the stream so if you rewatch or stick around and we'll go for another couple of runs uh we should be able to find it um yeah i'm gonna check, double check the barracks i'm pretty sure there was a firing range somewhere now i might not have unlocked it yet but there's definitely something somewhere oh what is this Ah, oh, no way we just unlocked a uh, a different paint it was just sitting around the base what i told you man whenever you see purple you gotta go to it i was getting stressed out in that mission i kept seeing pink and purple i'm like oh yeah good good loot let's go get it and red as well like this deep colored red that's also a color of loot oh man now i want to look around everywhere we need to we need to walk around the entire base see if we can find anything i'm gonna have to clip my own damn stream so I've got that as a video so I can't go pick that up again now <laughs> oh man that's funny right, let's go call left in fact no we can just use the map what am I doing uh, let us check the intelligence center we can go around all these areas and just double check there's, there's people to speak to in all of these um, we just need to make sure we can find the right one it should be like a room that we're looking for. Oh, 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 oh. We found another paint. We found another paint. Keep keep an eye on this, folks. We're, we're going we're gonna to find extra paint that we can use. We're going to go check what we've unlocked as well at some point. Okay, so we've done that one. It's not there. Logistics. Now I'm kind of on a, like a paint hunt and a... Buddy shooting range hunt uh, could get into the research room earlier so it might be there yeah I will double check the research room in a sec can we get down there no there's one of the mechs look love the mechs I just cannot get enough of mechs in games so much fun to be had okay nothing in this room this is defense division Oh yeah, look at all these guns. Unfortunately, we can't use them. Oh, look at that artifacting. Oof. Don't know if that's coming through on the stream. The white speckles. Not looking good. Mm. Ah, there we go. Upgrade complete. Found another paint blueprint. Lovely jewelry. That's not a door. Nothing else in here. It's a shame we can't pick any of this stuff up. Be a nice little way to uh, boost my 
supplies, that's for sure. Okay, uh, medical center. Come on, chop chop. Can't go to the medical center? Okay, base warehouse. Anything in here? Oh, this place is pretty big. Tray port. Oh, the next to each other. Oh, this is the woman that we we uh, we saved. Got a friend in the outpost. Since you're here, take a look at my wares. My <laughs> good prices and the quality match. It's so weird. What is that accent? Oh my life. Okay, so this is the shop. Uh, they've definitely moved it from where it was last time. Get rid of that. Go away. So in here we can. Oh, 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 oh. Bingo. Bingo was his name. Oh, we have eight hundred and three. Uh, we can afford to get another MG turret barrel. We know we have the other bits. In fact, we got two turret bases. We can get the MG barrel, another Nexus, and a light gun barrel. Oh, oh! I tell you what, I'm gonna get this barrel first. Okay, 120. So we need to get like 300 more. Oh, well, we're gonna get that. All right, 175 is what we need to get. I'm not gonna talk to you. I need to. F uh, Oh, don't we sell to you as well? Oh, no, 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 we, we just sell... No, oh, go away! We just sell straight from our warehouse. Oh, oh, oh. oh I thought there was a purple thing over here. It's a character! Greetings, How annoying. My name is Lucas Anderson, and I am Mr. Anderson! I got transferred here as a support staff after the Starfall. The EUA has been through Helen or the cargo. Just gonna skip this because I need to get to here. Uh, what's it? Uh, what happens if your game time goes past 24 hours? Um, I don't know. I don't think it should affect it. Uh, so if I hate Escape from Tarkov, am I going to hate this game too? No. I mean, I've not played Escape from Tarkov, but from what I gather. There's an element of PvP involved in the whole map. This is more PvE style. There is no PvP in this game. Um, but it is basically an extraction shooter, but with RTS elements. Um, it's a hell of a lot of fun, though. The, the whole tower defense side of that thing, with that last extraction mission, I don't know if you were here for that, but that mission can get so crazy on the higher level difficulties like the big mechs that you see in the trailers like the huge tower sized mechs they're the ones that will come and try and kill your base on those in addition to swarms of enemies so it's a very very different game um but definitely check out more content on the game if you're unsure whether to buy it watch some more streamers watch some more of of me play and you should be able to get a good idea whether you're going to like it or not there's a lot of running around looking for stuff defending your base rinse and repeat getting key items but um a big part of this game if you've got friends that will get it too is the multiplayer on endless mode this is the most fun you're going to have in this game uh, I wish I could demonstrate it for you now, but I don't have it unlocked, and I currently don't know anyone I would trust to go with on a mission like that. Because if you play multiplayer and you lose your character, then it basically resets your character, or kills the character if you're using one of the extra ones, which I haven't got yet, but I'll hopefully show that to you soon. But first, let me quickly sort my gear. Uh, right, here we go. Sell this. Max. Sell. There we go, this one, sell, max, sell, yes, sell all these things, give me the money, what are we up to, what are we up to, 200 and something, yes, I think we can afford it, oh yes, we'll get rid of these healing stations, I never use those, that's free money, the soda cans, there'll be chocolate bars too that come in as well, we can sell those, yeah, energy bars, they're useful items to use sometimes, but I just I just get rid of them. Uh, reactive mines, I never use the mines. Well, you, you guys could probably get good uses out of these things. I just don't use them. 
<laughs> so I just sell them. Uh, ah, and then the big main items that we're forced to bring back every mission, you trade these in as well. Um, and you, you get extra stuff out of that too. Right, we need to get back. Now we've got that sold. I think it's this woman that we trade them with as well. Shop. Uh, the MG barrel. And then, boom. I think we'll be able to put two new weapons on the base now. Right. Oh, she did have extra talk stuff. Now she doesn't have it. Okay, fine. Let's just check around, see if there's any of those uh, purple things over here. We haven't found one over here yet. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 cheeky. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, now. Uh, okay, so these are connected, that's why. So we, even though it says we're in the base warehouse, we're actually in the trade port. See? That's, that's silly. Should have just made that one building. Right, back to here. This is a weird thing as well, because like, you could go to the science area and make these items, or you can make them in here. As long as you're in um, you're in edit mode, you can do the. Uh, where is it? Redeploy. X-ray mode. Oh, what's X-ray mode? Oh, cool! This is new. Oh, I love that. X-ray mode too. Now you used to be able to build stuff in here too. Manufacture. There we go. So you can do it. Oh, I don't have it unlocked. I do not have. The light turret unlocks, so I can't make it, but I have the barrel, I have all the bits to make it. But at least we can make ourselves another machine gun turret. This is good. This is good news. This is good news. So now, bomb, bomb, bomb. And we'll move this over to here. This just basically makes stuff stronger. Oh, does that affect the door if I keep it there? Come on. No, it didn't. Okay, so that can be moved safely. I'll we'll put the gun back on there. I wish stuff that had a chain like this. Like, this is attached to this, and this is attached to the base. If I pick this up, it should move the turret with me. Like, that's... That's a quality of life introduction that they could do. Whether they'll do it or not, uh, is another story. Oh, let me just quickly catch up on chat here. Uh, okay, lol, was paused. I was about to get past it. Uh, I'm about to find out either way. Uh, have my sound off if you responded to my escape on Tarkov's question verbally. Sorry about that. I did. Please rewind. Uh, I did answer your question. Uh, I'm trying to. Lol. There are a thousand reactions to trailers uh, and few Let's Play videos. Yes, there will be very few because they kept the game from all the creators. They invited us all to a server a month before release and then told us that we would get footage to make videos with. We weren't allowed to capture our own footage, we weren't allowed early access to the game. I have played the game via testing, but that was covered by NDA and was nowhere near this final version of the game. So I couldn't use footage if I had recorded some, but I hadn't because that would be against NDA and I wouldn't be able to release that footage. So that's why there's no footage available other than really, really old footage from the first very public playtest. That would be like my first video that I did on this game. But yeah, that's that's uh, sadly that's the case. <laughs> we, all of us got access to the game today. Um, so yeah, everyone will be making content from today onwards. Right, we now have two guns. Two guns. Um, so when you play multiplayer, is it just the host outpost and everybody else is just running around the player? Yes. Yes, that is true. Uh, if you play host uh, multiplayer, you can be the host or you can join a host and you're basically helping them complete their mission. Um, this can be really beneficial if you've found some really rare items. Like some of these items are massive and take up your entire inventory. So sometimes you really need some help bringing all this good stuff back if you get really greedy. But if you've got a couple of friends online, you can be like, hey, come jump in, help me do the defense. Um, but know that they are risking their characters 
if you're running like a fully maxed out 400 second extract um, against like really hard level monsters and stuff. So there is an element of risk to their characters, but they could all just bring their base fey character, which is as long as they take off any like really rare items before they join you or in the lobby as they join you, they won't lose any like rare items basically and the character will just reset. Uh, this construction system looks amazing. It is. It is. I really enjoyed the. I I made some really big bases um, back in the first playtest. Uh, I wish I could show them to you, but no. I mean, they look nothing like this stuff does. All the turret models have been changed and upgraded. I think the only thing that stays roughly the same is the walls and stuff. That was about it. Everything else has been upgraded visually. But yeah, that's. You can get some really big stuff, and you see you see it in the trailers too. It is amazing. It's pretty cool. Uh, it used to have structural elements to it, so you had to support, like you couldn't have this entire like five by five area open and covered um, with no like internal support. So there was like support walls and stuff that you could add in. Oh, I just remembered. We've got new paint, right? All that new paint that we were running around finding, we've unlocked dry land camo. That looks very, very army based. Liking the look of that. Very, very camouflaged. Circuit board. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. Uh, undefeated was already in. Earthen is a new one that we've unlocked. Was that it? We have just two. Three. I thought we found more than three. Maybe it's unlocked further down? No, it's moved It's moved the ones we unlocked further up. I swear we found more than three. And a Scorching was one as well. Scorching and Earthen look pretty insane. Ah, uh, probably, yeah, it was Scorching. Okay. Well, that's cool, that's cool. I still like this one the best so far. There are tons though. Look, look all these different types of camo there is to get. And then you've got different patterns, the striped warning logos. You've got like random pink purple colours, lightning, there's flowers. Uh, come on, grab the damn fire, I'll just scroll. Uh, and then yeah, a whole bunch of just different colour mixes. Oh, I just wish we could just select, like especially when you've got like these whole colours, just give us a colour selector. Like why, why is it, why is it limited? to a selection, just give me a colour selector. Let me pick all the different areas. That, there's obviously different colour IDs for these things. Just let me pick the colours, man. What I want! Do you need to unlock the turret in research first? Yes, yes you do. Um, in fact, you start the game with no turrets at all on your base as part of the story. Uh, if we go to the research centre... Um, we need this guy for research. Tech research here. We haven't got anything unlocked in here that's visible. Um, some things like appear that are dependent on other things, but you don't know what the kind of the the research tree looks like to unlock the extra stuff. So you just gotta unlock everything as you can as you go through. Um, and there's also research to find out in the wild as well so and that will be on specific levels uh, I'll see if I can point it out for you um, again uh, when you're asking about modifying the Zens you can do it here as well uh, but I think this is just basically for for locking and unlocking I don't think you can actually oh you can edit here you go yeah you can click on you can okay I want to add in this buff or this buff or, or two different buffs um, each gun has preset skills, so all depends on what type of gun you've got it for its base skills, which will be randomly like generated. Uh, and sometimes they will come with like this one came with strong, or I, I, I think I equipped that in the very first mission. I think maybe um, so I can add another one to this like trigger figure, and you can you can add multiple. I've got two of these ends, so if I had two empty slots, or if I went to overwrite this one, I could have both of those trigger fingers to moderately reduce the firing interval twice and so you start to see 
like where some of the customization can really come in when you've got eight slots available and you can do like three trigger fingers and two chains and you, you can really like make some cool combos. And that's like where a lot of the depth comes in, which is really cool. So I was carrying around a repair gun before I went to the next area. I managed to carry it over. Yes, yeah, if you if you extract with it on your person, then you should start with it in the next one. Anyway, I have waffled enough. We've got some extra stuff. We've got a new weapon. We've unlocked some paint. I'm going to be definitely checking the rest of these rooms to see if there's other Commander, hidden stuff. But we are going to dive in for another run. Because now we can up the difficulty level as well. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Confirm. confirm this one. Confirm see, now we have difficulty two. And you can see the differences here. Like, So we added this one. Container expansion. So the base itself will have more room to put more stuff in at each level. But you can see how this will make things harder down the line. You're picking up more loot. You want to bring back more loot, which means more risk to boost the defense time to higher numbers. But we'll give it a go. And I think there's uh, there's enemy changes here. Look, we've got five enemies here. And this one's got six. So this one added in tank troops. Enemy tanks will join the battle. Commander of Ooh, boy. 11, Faye Pratt. Uh, I've got stuff in my in my backpack. This is my this is like the layout of my backpack. So I need to figure out what's going on there. Back. Commander of Outpost Eleven, uh, Faye Pratt. Can I? Sortie authorization granted. Mm, no. Back, back. Backpack. There we go. Ah, yeah. It was all this stuff. Bringing all this extra ammo back. I want to go in with like three. Maybe even two. And basically, you want to keep a ton, ton of these ammos for your endless runs. When you start doing endless, you will burn through ammo. Like, we, we will join an endless group back in the day. And we would, like, load up and be ammo, 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 ammo. Because you will eat through so much of it. You can't create it fast enough to survive long enough to get to the real high levels. Oh, can we? Can we change the operative? No. Okay, so eventually we will unlock local operative. And that means we'll get a chance to use somebody else. And if we can complete the run all the way through the whole run, we get to keep that person. And then that person can be either you be used as your main character uh, until they die. Or they can be assigned to a role within the main base itself. And then they will boost like research or they'll boost manufacturing or they'll boost your cell rating and stuff for your different items. But for now, we don't have access to that. That is still locked at this point of the game. So Please confirm the area. Please that's why I just wanted to double check. Commander of Outpost 11. Confirm. Okay, so immediately... If you've been sticking around, you will notice this map is different from the last map we played on. Every time you go into a run, this map will generate differently. And what you need to pay attention to is the type of icons that we have here. Now, while these will say unknown because they're not immediately next to us, like this one we can see uh, is a regular exploration in the forest town. This one, we click on it, it just says unknown. All right, but this one has like a little gold thing on it. So like this is like a radar tower or something or a transmission tower. This one's like a barrel. This one's like a house. This one's like a, I don't know, like a mayor's office or something like a town hall. So it'll give you an idea of what's in each level. So as you go start playing the game, you'll get to know wh what type of content in, is in each of these and the fact that like some of these are gold and some of these are just plain white also kind of gives you a clue as to what might be in it now we want to do a quick run and we don't have a quick run here well we've got three we've got one two 
three, and then back. So we can just go around. We can go around in any direction, uh, or we can make it a four. But I think we'll just do a three, because I think I reduced my power by having a second weapon. So we'll go down first, and we'll just see what we find. But yeah, as you as you work your way through, get a run complete, you can move up a difficulty level one step at a time. And it will get crazy. Definitely. Not right now, but later it will get crazy. Uh, so what do you need to get a bigger gun turret? Well, you need to unlock it. Uh, I did explain this earlier, but you might not have been here. But you need to unlock it first within the research, and then you need to have the components to build it. Some of those components you'll find in the world. Especially in the higher difficulties. Some of those components that you need for some of the weapons are only available in the higher difficulties. But some things also require um, a gun. So I know, at least in testing, the SeaWiz needed a machine gun as part of its base components. Like a fully built machine gun turret. So one of these. So you will lose one of these in the making of a SeaWiz turret. Right, let's have a good old look-see around. Keep the questions coming. If you have any more questions, I really do not mind answering them. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I will try and look for it. If we are able to in whatever section of the game we are in. So we visited this one a little while ago and we, you can notice like before this had like a an open kind of storage section here. And this one, uh, this one's kind of got a mini one over there. But it's stuck a building in the way, and the layout's all different. So a lot of these maps are randomly generated. And you'll get these these puzzles, so this, as we know, will power up our base. And since we're not at maximum power, it is worth doing. Worth doing. Just got to get it on... The, tar the, uh, the the core tower. You can't just put it on the wall here. It has to go on the tower. So, thankfully, this area doesn't seem to have many enemies. Although, touch, touch wood. We don't get jumped at some point. Oh, cool. There's a mech in here. That is very, very cool. Oh! Look at that! safe hidden down here with two two lots oh okay so we've got a data cable so that's like an expensive rare bit of kit and then we've got a purple level which is super valuable gold cup so that i will be keeping on my person when we go to extract on the uh, the final day gotta keep your eyes peeled man like that was that was sneakily hidden very sneakily hidden hmm shelf. Oh, there we go. There's some stuff there. Gotta keep your eye out for all this stuff. These supermarkets are great for like the little bits of items. Get some good stuff. Get some good stuff. You need tons of this stuff. Gold. These plant extracts. They all help. All of it. We've got here metal slabs. Anything else? Anything else? Exploding barrels we can't take with us. What have we got here? More plant extracts. Because, yeah, I think if you get enough plant extracts, you can make, like, polymer out of it. And polymer you need in, like, so many different crafting recipes. So, while it may seem like, oh, it's just plant extract, you do actually need to pick it up. Uh, can we jump up out of here and then jump up out of here? Yes, we can. We're on the roof! But there's nothing up here. Bugger. Right, on to the next area. Zen chest, what have we got? Ah, oh, it's just a grey. So that is slightly increased radius. So that by itself won't do anything. I'm pretty sure. Like, it, it won't actually give a hit a blast radius, but if it had one already, then you could. So like, if you had like an explosive round then you can increase the radius of that explosive round. So this this thing here, this needs a battery. If we find a battery, we can open that door. And there's normally, they just like... 
On these earlier levels, they just, like, dump a battery near. So, you might just have to look around a little bit. No, none here yet. Hmm, disappointing, disappointing. Uh, how far this way can we go? See, that tower's just out of reach again. Not that one. Is that one in? Or is that one out? No, that one's well out. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen the other ball either. That's another thing. Like, we can't do this trick without two of the balls, I think. I think I'm pretty sure you need both of them. Was it not here? I normally love dumping it on the floor around here. But I can't see it. Alright, we'll go to the top of the tower. We'll see if, we, if it works with just the one ball. I'm pretty sure you need both. But we will see, we will see. Nothing under here. Jump! Anything in here? Nope. Further up. Uh, so, game is seven days to escape from Tarkov with an anime feel to it. I mean, it's not just... Uh, like, seven days to die, do you mean? Or, like, do you think we, you, we only have seven days? Because it's, it's variable. It's up to you. Like, if you've got the energy to run ten days, you can run ten days. If you only want to run three, you only run three days. Mm, yep. Oh, yeah. Might just be that ball. The other ball was a red herring. There we go. Twelve extra power to our core. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I don't think there was much else there. Like, we could do a... Sc oh, our gloves can do a scan, can't they? What if we do... Which one was it? F. Oh, it's only super short range. That didn't show up anything at all. Oh, well. On to the next place. You can just drop off all the loot in your outpost. Yes. But you still have to extract with it. So the game is set up so you basically go through, you find as much stuff as you can and while you're finding all this stuff and you're dropping it off like this every level, sometimes you need to find a larger piece of like mission critical hardware or loot box or whatever. Once you've found that then you can do this extraction process which sends the crate off. But at the end of it all, you have all these crates of loot and you have to choose what you want to bring back. Oh, you have to connect it directly to... Yes, and so this bit you would connect directly to your core. It's fallen off now because, um, well, we used it and it powered up our core. We got 12 free power. So, like, sometimes you'll have a mission where uh, if it becomes night time during that mission, you'll get your base attacked in the middle of that mission. You'll get, like, a small mini raid. Uh, increases backpack space. Oh, scavenger perk! So, here's a little trick for you guys, if you guys ever get this game. Back in the day, there were characters that had this as a perk on the character, and they were the most sought after, most overpowered characters there is. Because it would give you another line in your backpack. And so if you had like Scavenger 5, you would have 5 extra lines in your backpack. So you can immediately think how powerful that is to bring back 5 lines worth of extra loot that isn't calculated in the difficulty of your extract. Right? So yeah, it, 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 it can be good. So yeah, if you see that, definitely pick it. But it's, it looks like they've transferred it to as, like a, as a mission reward now, which is good. Because it was way, way too overpowered before. Uh, I connected to the outside. Uh, I was like, why no work? Yeah, yeah, no, you have to put it on the core. The core is is, is what generates your power and stores your power. Oh, damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Am I on the wrong mode? Why Why have I got a long cooldown? Um, yeah, people were talking about the Zen earlier. This is how you do the Zen. You can switch through the, the slots this way. Uh, Watch out for lightning strikes. Uh, alt switch attribute. Oh, there you go. Fires high speeds. Have I got enough? 
Yeah, I don't know why that had like a cooldown on it. That was that was quite worrying. I think I was on the wrong fire mode. Uh, why am I at the top? Of the I'm on a helipad. Where's my base? Why have I not been dropped at my base? Oh, my base is over there, look. Okay, that's an interesting one. Oh, God damn it! Can't shoot through chain link fence. Is fucking frustrating, stupid devs. It always gets my... Gets me roiled up, that does. Like, it's chain link fence. You should be able to shoot through chain link bloody fence. What in the world? Oh damn, this is shrinking! We are running out of time to loot this place. We need to get a shift on. Looks like there was like a weird... like... sciency building that we could have uh, had a quick little look through if we were fast enough before. What's down there? It doesn't look like there's any loot though. Okay, we're gonna be faster, we're gonna be faster. Remember, there's no full damage, so just be quick, not worry about it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We found the main thing. Uh we can't get in there. So let's just jump down to the ground floor. Anything in this? No. Get a car tire or two. So explained earlier you can get uh, polymer from these. In fact there you go, just got polymer. Awesome, 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 awesome. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Check this way. Alright, we're gonna have to be fast. If that thing closes the entire level, hopefully it has some sort of minimum threshold. Oh, that's a lockpick. We don't want to do that. I'm not wasting lockpicks on this level. It's totally not gonna be worth it. Man, there's nothing in any of these rooms. What is going on? Oh, hello. He was excited to say hello. Oh, look at that. Rocket launcher. Single use item. It's hard. Takes up a chunk of your bloody uh, inventory space, though, so it's not super great. Random red light on the floor. <laughs> Creepy. What we got here? Animal specimen? Nice, 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 nice. See, I thought there was some really good stuff there then. It's not. It's just these purple bloody boxes. What is this? Ferrosulf XT. I wonder if that's like an actual medication or something. Somebody Google. Google it for me. Rewind. Check the name. I need to know. I must know. God damn, where is all the freaking loot? Oh, we've got two Zens, though. Two blue Zens as well. Critical Strike. Ah, oh, they, they do not stay on the bloody screen long enough to read. Okay, nothing in there. Um, nothing down here. Does it stop moving or is it still going? Okay, looks like it's stopped to a, like a minimum value now. I think we're safe. We don't have to panic too much about searching everywhere. Maybe I could get a couple more of the tires off that car. Hmm. Right, anything over this way? No, it's just a blank road. Got a van over here. Can we get in this van? No, it's just a salvage. couple of huge wrecks here that we could have salvaged. Well, we could still salvage if we really wanted to, but I don't want to waste the electric on it, honestly. We're nearly full on uh, resource anyway. Oh, turret is shooting at something. Something's getting near the base. There's lots of stuff here, but there's nothing to... There's no actual loot. Where's my loot? You bastards. 
Oh, a tank over there. All right, fair enough. That's it. That's it. Let's not let's not stick around if we are not needed. Check that in. Oh. I'll we'll just get another one of those for good measure. Anybody we didn't kill will now run at the base. That's where these people have all come from. They all go pop. They didn't drop anything by the looks of it, so on to the next one. Go on. Arrgh. Start wasting my ammo. Uh, attack up support unit. I don't have any support units, so that's actually no good. So maybe that one. Um, we haven't picked up much loot yet, actually, so we could do this one. This one needs 61 power to get to. Um, and I'm pretty sure this might be one of those ones where there possibly might be a blueprint on that level somewhere. I just got a feeling. Oh, there's one here. Like, you have to get to the end of this line, then come back. It's going to be the case, I bet. But yeah, have we got enough power? We've got 94. This is 39, though. So that would be... Uh, uh, not 61. That's basically 100. We don't have 100 power. Right, let's do this one. Heading for the target area. We are going to need to have some power for the last day. Oh, I see there's a there's a patch notes ping on the outpost discord. Okay, okay, okay. So there could be a patch. There could be a patch. Can anyone uh, quickly go check the patch notes for that? See if it's uh, anything critical or important that I need to be worried about. If so, I can quickly get it patched up, and we can uh, continue on, like nothing happened. Okay, what have we got here? There's nothing in that. This is just a big empty signpost. I'm watching where this blue line goes, because that's like my movement area. There's a lot of big empty space here. Couple of destroyed buildings. Looks like there's a warehouse over there, but we can't get to it. Which is kind of annoying. Let's have a quick check, see if there's anything just inside. Looks like there is something just inside the barrier, actually. So in case you didn't see my explanation earlier for this, the um, this blue line, this outer blue line, uh, I can't really go past this because um, it will threaten to drop something on my head. Like this. And if I let that tick along for long enough, yeah. Instant death by giant metal block falling from sky. This is like a semi safe area to, that I can operate within as an operative. But uh, yeah, not. Not completely safe, because obviously the, the bots can just come and kill me. But yeah, if I step out of that, they can detect me from orbit, and then, yeah, it's no bueno, and you're just going to get killed. And that's what limits uh, limits the play area. Oh, oh! Nope, hit the... No, don't hit escape. Jesus Christ. Why did that stop shooting? I'm on the wrong shooting mode again. How does that happen? Oh, Jesus I am not paying attention today. You can tell I've been streaming for a while. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream, though. I haven't streamed in a very, very long time. Took a bit of a break from content overall for a little bit, and I've been getting back into it this year, which has been absolutely fantastic. So, I hope you've enjoyed your evening that you've been spending with me, if you have stuck around. Don't forget to hit that all-important like button. It does actually help. 
There is just no loot in this place. There's just like one house up there, I think. Is it even a house? No, I think it's just a wrecked tower. <laughs> My god, is this it? There's nothing here! God's sake. No. It's this thing again. No, oh, I didn't jump. I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? Uh, patch notes are clear and transparent as the devs usually are. Fix some. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cheers. Well, I'm not experiencing any crash issues yet, so um, we'll just have to go on and uh, ignore that one then, I guess. Come on, get to the top. Uh oh, there is nothing up here at all. I just feel like I've been conned. Looking around for all this loot, and there's just nothing on this entire bloody level. I mean, that's a cool top bluey bit of one of these pillars, but that's about it. This is what drops from the sky on your head, by the way. That massive thing. Uh. Explore and collect alloy components. We still haven't found the component that we need to collect either. Like, where the hell is that hiding? Ah, another building. Okay. There were two hills. The game is hiding things up multiple hills from me now. Uh, would you recommend the game or should I wait? I would actually recommend that you wait. Um, for a couple of reasons. Um, obviously, fresh game, unless you're used to playing uh, fresh releases and are happy to put up with bugs, um, there is that side of things. I've not really run into many bugs. I know other people have had lots of crashing issues, even on high end machines. Um, mine's been absolutely fine. You've also got the fact of the, the one of the main things that's really, really pissed me off uh, is this Vanguard edition that the devs have done um, that you can't upgrade to it. So if you if you buy the game and think, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the base game, $25, whatever, um, check it out, see if I like it. And you do like it, you're like, oh, you know what, this this I really like what the devs have done with this game. I want to support the devs more. I'll get the special thing, the premium edition. You can't upgrade to the bloody premium edition. Now you may have seen my uh, my comment. They they released a video today. Uh, I put the comment on that because they did a whole video on it, and I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. You, you can't just make it a full priced game on top of a full priced game as a premium version. No upgrade at all. So if you want it, you buy the game twice. Which is anti-consumer and pretty shitty and not good value for money whatsoever. Um, or you decide to get it off the bat and you take the risk and you, you get the more expensive version. Where's the beeping? Where's the beeping? So there's that. So I'm hoping that they will change their mind on this and so that you'll be able to get the game and just upgrade. Oh, there he is. Let's try and jump out the window. Couldn't quite figure out how to do a step up. Thankfully. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll change their mind. Whether they do or not, um, they probably won't. But we can always hope that with enough uh, community peer pressure that they might. Because it's a really shitty thing to do. And I've never seen a dev do this with a special edition. Like, I get a pre-order bonus if you've pre-ordered it um, but yeah as a as a whole optional alternate version it's a really shitty thing to do but having played it since the very first playtest though I, I love the gameplay um, I love playing with friends on this so if you've got friends that are interested that can be a big factor um, or if you uh, don't mind playing with randoms it's, it's such a fun game to play in multiplayer, especially on the endless. But yeah, it's 
it's different things for, for different people really on what's going to be good for you what's not going to be good for you but overall i would say wait see see what changes see what improves i mean it's not an early access game so not a whole lot will improve but there can be some nothing trying to be as quick as I can for these runs and not miss anything but like normally I'm very very thorough checking every nook and cranny but that's not gonna be super interesting for you guys oh Jesus okay down to half health I had to use an armor pack getting dangerous oh, what is that lumber you get that from chopping down trees. You can just chop down any tree, by the way. It just costs energy to do so. Uh, in fact, I will go show you guys what that looks like in just a second. Uh, what do we get? CQC1. Oh, I didn't see what it does. I'm guessing it's some sort of close combat buff. Oops. We'll check that out. Um, B, there we go. That's electronics components. You can see bullet deals more damage the shorter it travels. See, that is one of the ones I was talking about earlier on what you can get in terms of customization. So if you're short range build, if you've got like melee special abilities or you've got like a shotgun type effect weapon, this will boost a shotgun weapon damage because you're going to be up close and hitting them really quickly. It won't. The bullet won't have to go very far to hit the enemy because you'll be right up in their face. So that, that is what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, I don't like to play like that. I prefer building uh, sniper builds and stuff. And supporting the uh, the team from a safe distance. Also means I'm ready to uh, jump on any like supersized artillery cannons should the need arise to help protect the base. Uh, in a multiplayer setting, that is. If you're playing solo, same applies really the the further you can be from damage the better all right we have got our thing now so we can move on to the uh, final extract and for those of you that weren't around for the first one we will see what this looks like once again so let's just chuck all of these in here come on get in get in what i kind of like about this as well is that you see this fill up with boxes as you're putting loot in I think that's really cool. So you can see now we've got this used to be just uh, four before, and now we've got five lines. And um, because we picked up that scavenger perk, we've actually got an extra line at the bottom of our own personal inventory now as well. So we can carry a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make another ammo here. Uh, how much have we got here? Nine four four. 818. These can carry a thousand ammo, so it was way too early to be uh, doing anything with these guys just yet. Come on, come on. Any more for any more? Nope, we pretty much killed everybody. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I think they literally don't know how to make it upgradable rather than choose not to. That could be a possibility. Um... But considering it's just DLC, and they say in the, the the initial announcement, they said, oh, this is not going to be in fu any future DLC, that they obviously do plan to have DLC at some point, be it new turrets, new skins, whatever, um, to probably help either just earn money or maybe even develop the game further. Um, they know what a DLC is and they will know how to do DLC. It's a pretty standard thing to do with for a game is add DLC. Steam is built for it. Doing what they've done is kind of against what Steam is built to do. So I'm pretty sure it was done on purpose. It does internal power cycle during this tour period for each kill on an enemy by hitting a weak spot, building materials plus five. That's not going to help us now. This, if you got this at the start of a run, that's super useful. Um, it's a gold level upgrade as well, so that is like a key upgrade to get. But no good for us right at the end when we're nearly full on resources and it's it's the final run. Uh, large caliber expansion boosts the mag size of light turrets, twin barrel turrets, and viper chain guns. We don't have any of those unfortunately 
So that's also useless to us. Um, but this may affect any uh, light turrets or twin barrels that are on the escape mission itself, which we are now going to. So return to base. Uh, total value here is 800 and something. If we put all of this in, we end up here at 280 seconds. Now, we know that that's, that's worth a lot. So we'll take that out. So we know the gold is worth a lot. So there's 80 there. Take that out. We know this is worth 200 and something. We'll take that out. And I think, yeah, we'll push it to there. We'll push it to, to this, like, nearly three minutes extract. And we'll see how far we get for that. So we can switch to build storage, and we can just take this with us. And what we'll do is we'll... Uh, what the hell? Have I have I lost the ability to use the extra line here? I thought we had the scavenger perk. Very strange. Um, but yeah, interesting interesting thing here as well. Uh, if, if the extract fails, and they blow up the base before it's finished removing all this loot, I don't get it. And I'll only get what's in here. So you kind of do want to load yourself up, but you could, just in case. But you also don't. But if you do load yourself up, as I said, you do get a big reduction in this value, which means a reduction in the defense time, which makes things easier. Which at this level doesn't really make too big a deal. But later on, when there's just tough rocket missile firing enemies, it's a big fucking deal. So I'm just going to repeat, as just in case we've had new people join us. We have a small window, 95 seconds remaining, to run defense and set up operations for this extract. So what I do is I generally make myself some ammo. I place down any um, things that I've got. So here we don't really have any... Um, we could put down artillery formations if we had enough. We don't. We can only even get... Oh, just off, really. If we had a bit more, we could have put one of these down, but it's it's no big deal that we don't. Um, but we can put down these coils here, and they can help defend the front of the base, should they get up to this point. So we can put these here, and we can put these in front of here. And we've already run out of uh, stuff, so we've got 50 seconds still. Let's see if we can try and find anything like that around the map. Uh, oh, we did have a machine gun turret extra, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, one over here I think we could get in before. Is it this one? We're going to have a little look, see. Nope. Damn it. So, as the longer we can keep this thing, the better, because this thing will um, be slowly, like, grinding these down. And these will give us more uh, material, and that will slowly pump back up. We can put down extra defenses a little bit later on. And you can access this uh, command menu from anywhere. You see, like I'm still on the map, right there. So you've got to be, you've got to be careful and aware of where you are and what you're doing. Uh, I do want to get another one of these in. We need a hundred, so we need to wait till we get a hundred. But until then, I can stand behind this. So this will like electrocute them and I think later on you can get one that boosts them away. Um, so now we just need to, uh, oops, I'm on the wrong fire mode again. There we go, at least that blew that up. Tell you what, if you can get a sniper scope, oh, just beautiful. This guy's gotta go though. Please go away. I do not like those guys with the shield. Let me take out the big guy at the back. I'm trying to get him in the face. Oh, no more shield guys, go away please. We'll use the special, where is it this one? This is the special ability. And this shouldn't be using any of my ammo to start with. Until the uh, the effect itself runs out. 
Oh, yep, that bit ran out. <laughs> oh no! Uh, can I do the X to get the cooldown? No. Blow it up! Oh, am I? Am I out? I'm out. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Reload! 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 Do not like these barrels are rolling closer towards me. Uh, I'll tell you what, I need to, need to, need to, need to, need to, need to, need to come back. Um, can we chuck in? Oh, we can chuck in one of these. Perfect. We'll do that instead then. Oh, new weapons, baby. Let's go. Oh, 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 that's, that's a, that's a tank. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, reload. We'll switch to the alternate mode and we'll see if we can pop that tank. Oh, something shooting me from the side. See, he is just going to wreck my day. really shouldn't be standing next to those barrels. Come on, pop that, thank you. Is that reduced? You see I'm getting reduced damage on this thing? God damn, whoa! Yeah, yeah, no, not good, not good, not good, not good. But, we have... Got him! Sweet! Uh, there's a few enemies still on the field, actually. But this guy dropped this. Tech points. That's what we want. Oh, we got them coming up here, look. Don't know what it is. They're through the grass. Oh, little scorpions. You can go bye-bye. Fuck off. Let's get out of here. Aircraft arriving in 15 seconds. Roger that. Fifteen seconds till arrival. Yeah, you don't sound like a bot sympathizer at all, do you? Okay, nothing up here. Your ride is here. Time to head home. Um, or not, because, you know, we want to look around for anything that could be picked up. If we could get some more tech points, that would be really bloody useful. Sorry, Kento, I missed the answer. There's matchmaking with randoms. Um... There is and there isn't. Uh, I'm not at the stage yet where I can show it because it's just it's just not there. Uh, you need to get to a certain stage before you can do multiplayer. Holy damn! Look at all this down here. This is all, all this area is just kind of sitting down here that you just don't end up using. Oh my goodness me! Nothing down here though, unfortunately. I was hoping that there might be some sort of hidden stuff down here. Sadly not, so we will head back up. This way. Spawn point for enemies, it would seem. Uh, I think you get, if I can remember correctly, you get a list of lobbies. And you can choose to join a lobby. Um, but you need, you need to have multiplayer unlocked to do so. And I'm not sure when that happens. If, I think it might be soon for me. It might be after this run. It might be after the next main run. I think you need to hit like normal difficulty level first. Uh, we'll have to see. But I'll certainly check it once we uh, get on this extraction. Boom! -boom. Another successful mission. Um, yo, are you, are you sad about Starbase defunking? Yes! Sad every day that Starbase just failed to live up to its enormous, enormous potential. And you know what? When you get games like Helldivers come out, right, and it's all PvE, zero PvP, and the whole world goes absolutely fucking nuts for it. Makes you feel vindicated. If they had just made a solid, balanced game with PvE content, 
fine, have some PvP. I don't mind a bit of PvP. But content, game needs content. You know, they wanted to make it a live service game where, like, they there would be, like, cosmetics and stuff that you could add on and get. Oh, yeah, it could have been so much more. Could have been so much more. For, for those that are new to my channel, I used to cover Starbase pretty heavily for about two and a half years. I was the guy for the news for that game before the, the devs pretty much canned it, sadly. Right, what do you Once want, you Lucas? You'll be able to handle more challenging recovery missions, bring back even more... Yeah, that's what I've just been telling everybody else, Anderson. Get with the system, from man. To 10, that's how all the outposts were geared from... The war will feed itself. I'll remember that. You have completed the basic firepower upgrade for your outposts. Oh, thank you. Now what? You now have the means to engage in surface-side combat. Your next goal should be to secure the parts for a second MG turret for your outpost. Already got a second MG turret, mate. Way ahead of you. Faye, there's a new mission for you. Oh? The recons have discovered the existence of several envoy strongholds inside the border woodland, hindering our operations. We have plans to strike at some of their strongholds in order to open up the eastern approach. You'll need to outfit Outpost 11 for combat. Your goal is to recover the valuable blueprint located there. Ooh. Once it's been retrieved, the research center will be able to build parts that can increase the power and resource limits for your outpost. They want to send that. us on a mission to get a blueprint. Favorite ship was made by Kenator, forgot the name. A big cube. Was it the Buffalo? Buffalo was a beast, I tell you. With the small size that it was. God damn. Love that shit. I love anything with customization. That's why I love this game. Like the guns being so customizable, the base being customizable. Like it's it's such a good way to play a game, putting you in control. Small generator. There we go. Increase core output. This is what we needed to unlock. Five tech points, three progress costs. So we'll start that. Add that to the queue. For sure, for sure. Backpack expansion, I could do with that, but I don't have the points for it. God damn. Yeah, that's more generated. Core output plus 10. Yeah, that'd be good. That would be good indeed. God damn. Alright, so what was the other thing that they wanted me to go do? Oh, in here. Commander. Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sorting officer granted. Uh, it's still not letting me go to use the Please multiplayer mode. Please confirm the area. You know, I don't even know where it would put the uh, multiplayer mode, actually. I thought it was in the main menu setting, so let me just quickly pop back to the main menu. It all saves automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. No, there's nothing here. I didn't think there was. Damn. Well, at least the loading times are pretty damn quick, right? Commander of Outpost so yeah, I'm guessing it would pop up here. Because all Sorry, the menus and stuff have completely changed since the last test mode, so like, I don't know where you would select multiplayer. Your uh, my, my guess would be after we finish easy mode. Because now we confirm this area. Confirm oh, what's this to do difficulty 2 again? Okay. Well, at least it will tell us where it wants us to go. Maybe we can do it another quick run. Okay, here. We need to get here. So we're looking at one, two, three, four. So we'll go here first, jump to here. We'll get our blueprint. Whatever that blueprint may be. Can't get any information on that right now. Let's go, go, go! Move out! Made a script to make the mining lasers fire in a spiral. Ah! There's so many people made scripts for my ships. I was so proud that, that people would put that much effort into um, making their own upgrades for it. Just really proved out the design. I put a lot of work into that, I kept it updated for so long. 
It's one of the only ships that still works properly as well. Out of all the shop ships. Hundreds and hundreds of ships. Made sure I got our, our final updates in on the very last patch, basically. Before the game went dark. Alright, so let's uh, go find some stuff. Need to get through this mission real quick and then on to the mission with the blueprint in. And then rush for the end zone. I love this building. This building's uh, very... Uh, oh, oh, okay, this building has changed its layout since I played it last. It's now a lot more open than I thought it was. Holy crap. Yeah, normally you can just come in here and the, the layouts are very similar every time you come in this building. I really like the POI. It's normally chock-a-block full of loot. There we go, that'll be chubbly. Nothing up there, nothing there. Always look for the glowy outline. And then we can jump through the wall here. To get into this room. Pick up that. Nothing else, nothing else. And then this room, you can get onto the roof. Right here. And then sometimes there's loot on the roof. Like this! What do we got? Gloves! Scan gloves. Uh, it's the same as what we've got, basically. But, we have white versions. And this is a green version. So there you go. Uh, you can also see at the top of the name there where it says scan gloves. It'll say scan gloves plus two. So, not only do you have the, the white, green, blue, purple, gold, red levels of gear, but you've also got like plus zero, well, nothing to plus like nine, I think it is, for each weapon and piece of armor. So you really know when something's going to be better or not. Uh, can I, and links are unfortunately um, not postable, but you can post the link on my Discord for sure. Yeah, so we can swap that. So yeah, we got a whole load more defense and a little bit extra armor on that one as well, which is good. No change on the scan area or the charges though, unfortunately. I would really like to see that a bit more. That would have been a little bit more useful for us. Right, uh, nothing else on the roof here. Oh wait, is that a... No, it's a TV. I thought it was going to be like a little safe or something. Okay, let's just double check around the outside here. Yep, I think we got the car. Thought I heard a bad guy. There we go. Loot. Always loot the cars. Always, always, always. There we go. You can actually crawl in the cars as well. Not very safe to do while there's enemies around though, but you can do it. Okay, what we got here? Bad guy? No, trader. Shady dealer. The G-Man. And we got the Electro Orb here. There is a different Electro game that you can play. It's like basketball. So if you find extra orbs, you can bring them around. And it says you can put this in your backpack if you press Q. But it just drops it again. So I don't know why it lies to us on that. Very frustrating. Oh yeah, so um, he he will offer you something, and I can't remember if you have to take it. Ah, most welcome. Ah, for the right price, nothing's off the table. That outpost of yours is looking fine indeed. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be interested in my services. How about I put a bullet in your head, mate? What the hell? Trade a turret. I'm not going to give you a turret. Sod off! What a cheeky bastard! I'm just gonna give him a whole turret. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, ah! Haha! You see that? I had to shoot it and, and instead grab something off of it. I picked up a battery. That's cool. Not seen those before. I think maybe there was one or two of those in the last test, but I never got in the room before they'd buggered off, so I can never see what they were. Interesting. So we can either. Can I. No, that one doesn't go in the backpack either. So we can keep this in our hand between levels. 
uh, or we can chuck it in the back here into this thing and it can power the uh, power the base up a bit more but now I'm just gonna leave it there because we still haven't uh, looked around everything I think so, all right so we've done this is a sign we've done that but we saw the guy in there we went in there it's just this thing to see now if there's not anything in this area sometimes you can find like stuff on the floor that isn't there the last time you went so just because it looks the same doesn't necessarily mean that it is the same like sometimes you'll find like a crate in here with like new armor in it or something like that so it's always worth like having a good look around this thing and then obviously we can um, turn some of this into resources as well so like this thing for 10 power will get me 100 resources and we can still probably take apart like a tank or two if there is one there we go I don't think there's anything else to collect on here so we will chuck this 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 uh, this 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 pick that up and we will chuck this into here there we go and we'll see see what that can do what's this material res res conversion what's it convert material into power oh material is back now we've got tons of power oh we could go on a way bigger run Take a recovery Oh, and I was going to show you guys um, the tree harvesting as well. Let's do that. So you can come up to a tree and you just use six power and you basically cut down the tree and it'll turn it into a whole bunch of logs. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look. Boom. Boom. And these logs are actually used in crafting as well, so sometimes you do need to get them. I should have done that before I sent the, uh, the box up, but hey-ho. Keep them on me for now. Uh, oh, I thought that was doing the bastard. I thought it was doing this. So we are well powered up. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for those batteries. Extra container or components HP. Components HP because we might need to last a bit longer on this one. So what can we do? So instead of coming like down here, we can do an extra like two and do these two instead of these. This one, well, so these three, and back to here instead of just doing two. Give that a go. Well, we'll see how this one goes. We don't know if they're going to do something crazy on this one. Are there guns that can use those orbs uh, that used to be in game? The orbs. I don't remember the orbs. I think. Uh, I, if I'm correct in, in thinking what you think is the orbs, like the center of the gun orb, I think has been replaced with just the base gun itself, like the core of the gun. But yeah, they used to be cool. I did I did show off to the guys, um, they, they've got a little video that you can see. Um, oh god. Oh, wrong fire mode again. Uh, they've got a little video that you can play as like a credits thing, but it shows you the history of the game, like development-wise, and they show off like the the very first prototypes. And you see the old guns and equipment that they used to have in this game, which is super cool. Delayed explosion. Kaboom! Kaboom! No! Kaboom! Ah! Oh, they got stuck. In Freaking terrain! Did you see that? Oh. oh, now it's not shooting. Come on. Haha, <laughs> yes. Love it. Alright, let's mop these guys up. Weather's changing already. We're taking too long. Move out, soldier. Oh, yep, get you, get you, lovely jubbly. Right, so we've got this kind of warehouse looking building. 
Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come get me. Come get me. Oh, don't get me. Don't get me. Damn reloads at the most inopportune times. Oh, I am completely out of ammo. That is a very bad position to be in. Uh, tab. G. Reload. And we are Gucci again. Cap in his head. Lovely jubbly. Kill these guys so they don't pop up on me. There's one more here somewhere. There he is. Right. So I shouldn't get any surprises. Jump me. Try and shank me. You can still play now. You can still play Starbase now, pretty much single player now. Yeah, well, it's. I mean, it's a multiplayer game. It should be played with friends, but without. And even, well, hell, even with single player only, it's, it's there's still nothing to do. There's no content to the game. That's the saddest thing. And they're like, some people are like, oh, but you're going to make your own content. I'm like, well, you shouldn't have to. You've already paid for a game. You should just be able to play the game. Hmm. In the testing, you used to be able to get in these. You just come and open the door. Doesn't look like you can now. Can we open this door? Yes. Very nice. Matter reconstructor. Superconductor material. These are rare. We definitely want these. Nothing else lingering about. All these barrels look bloody hell. Any bad guys? This is outside. Is this outside? No, this is the back door. Uh, high explosive, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Nothing else in here. Uh, there is an upstairs. Oh, they have completely redressed this POI. Nice. Bit of outside space here. Get on the roof. We will do that in a minute. I think there's nothing else. There we go, valuable blueprint, that's what we want. Da 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 da! What's it for? Don't know until we get back to the. The main base. Anything in here? Oh, another door. Picked one. Yeah, we'll open this one for sure. There we go. Anything good? Anything good? Oh, yes! Huge barrel. Tech points. Oh, that, that was so worth. So worth! Right, let me just close this. Nothing hiding behind the door. Nope, good. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. This guy did not have a good time. Jesus. Let me fall through everything. Oh, more material. Oh, come on. So, I mean, look at that. Look how big that is. Jesus Christ. Uh, what we will do then is we will hold this. See if we can quickly get on the old roof. Anything up here? Nope. Oh, no. Just chucked it. No! I want to keep that. Thank you. Loot! I earned it fair and square. It's mine. You can't have it. I was curious about the base. Uh, about the base. The one turret is on. Uh, oops. Uh, what is that? I saw things you can build, but I wasn't sure what it is. Uh, well, we've got two turrets now on this base. So, as, as you find... Uh, I love that you can throw stuff in here as well. As you find components, like this is um, a turret barrel. There's also turret bases and turret pivot points. Um, or turret cores and you put all three of them together and you get a new turret and there's different turrets that you can get that require different types of barrels um, different types of other components that are added in for more complicated turrets higher level turrets so we just need to chuck a bunch of this in here first of all actually we're talking this we haven't used the ammo you can get special ammo I've got some cryo ammo here but um 
no real reason to use it yet. Twenty something seconds. Yeah, the higher value um, of the main core package, the longer it will take to escape as well. Holy moly! Look at this thing. Imagine that falling on your head. Jesus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just double checking. I haven't missed any of the questions. Uh, didn't the first use gun she's broke? Oh yes, I was right about that. Yeah, it just looks more generic now. It does look more generic. I did kind of like the style of the old one. But also everything else was kind of a bit jank in style. At least, yes it does seem more generic now, but everything seems more cohesive. And like as part of it's, uh, it's part of the same thing, same like common language between everything. Because, yeah, that whole sphere gun thing looked super cool, but didn't make sense at all. Oh, minigun barrel replaces... Uh, replaces muzzles with cylinders for the MG turrets, increases the fire rate 100%, but causes a delay before firing. That will eat through my ammo. That will eat through my ammo. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, for each kill on an enemy by hitting their weak point, attack increases by three points. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Now, I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna let you guys choose, right? Do we, do we do the extra ones? Because we got the extra power. Or do we just go straight home? We've got, what we got? We got 120 power. Depending on the cost of this one, we might we might have enough, yeah. It's up to you guys to chat. Let me know, let me know. I'm just going to quickly uh, cup my glass of coke up. And you can reply while I wait for the stream delay to catch up. More! Oh! So we got one vote for more, one vote for more. The quicker we get back, the quicker we possibly see the um, the multiplayer side of things. Well, at least the, the menu side. I'm not going to join a randoms game. There's a, a bad recipe joining randoms. Uh, I can see both turning, just not sure what platform it's sitting on. Oh, it's just like an extra base bit that makes your turret stronger. That's all. They, they give you it for free, basically. Uh, I can't make them yet, I think. Um, but you will do, like, slowly later down the line. If you've got space, get some more. Okay, people want more. We'll go, we'll go for some more. Uh, when I get in the level, I can show you a bit. I can't show you what it does, but it's basically like an armoured wall, but as a turret mount, so it gives the turret like 200 extra HP. Uh, the base, as I said, came with it before you get any turrets, you get the base with no turrets, but it does give you one of these things for free. And what we're talking about there is this thing. This amp rack. Just makes the turret stronger. So you can see this thing's got 680 HP, this one's got 480 HP. So yeah, it's a 200 HP boost. Um, just by putting it on top of this but this takes uh, a three by two slot and the turrets only take two by two slots so there there is a cost there is a trade-off for it oh the weather is horrendous right, come on anything here no anything over here not seeing any enemies yet that's uh it's a good sign, it's a good sign. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Did you guys see that? I nearly got hit by lightning. Jesus Christ. Right, we will go up this tower because we need to hook that up to the base. We'll get some extra power from that as well. Yep. 
There's another thing, like, just picking up these, this will give you one resource for the base as well. This is what I'm saying, like, normally I would go around and I would pick up each one of these. And every time... Jeez, and again! Every time you pick those up, get more resources. So you can keep your base supplied with extra resources just by making sure you're picking up everything on the map. It takes a little bit extra time, so depending on, you know, if you've got a time-poor session that run, then maybe you don't do it. Uh, I've not been doing it because I don't want to bore you guys with just even more running than we have to do. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be much on this map. Oh, there we go, we found something. Um, but yeah, like if you're playing by yourself and you're not trying to entertain or inform people, then uh, yeah, for sure, definitely try and go in and get as much as you can. Because it all certainly adds up. Gotta keep on the move. Oh, this one can open. Yes. Inside, Polymer. The thunderstorm has ended. Oh, well, that's just grand. Copper cups, lovely, lovely. Okay, what we got here? We have equip core tower with a 30 millimeter light gun or expand space in the container. I would like to activate this because that means I can possibly do an even more difficult extraction for your entertainment. Ooh! Okusen, continue. Oh, goodness sake. Continuously fire a beam that slowly increases in power. Now that is one hell of a weapon mod. If only I had a decent bloody uh, base weapon to put it in. That would be bloody amazing, wouldn't it? It would just be fantastico. How much power to unlock that? 30, no, totally not worth it. Not worth it. Alright, come on, get to the tower. We need to recharge. Do, 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 do. No, that's it. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's pick this up. Again, if anyone hasn't seen this and does have the game this puzzle with this magnet it needs to go on the core tower attaching it to your base like this that will not work it needs to go up on this thing or inside on it but as long as it, you connect to it it's fine this wire doesn't have any collision it will just go straight through but once you've connected it like this we just need to get to the very top, pick a ball up, and then drop it into this thing, and you will charge up your base with a little bit extra power. And also, these are good for loot, especially in the, the higher difficulty levels. These have been pretty empty so far, but generally, they do have a little bit of loot in them. There's definitely always loot at the top, though. There we go. Oh! Blue boots, blue level boots, ladies and gentlemen. What have we got? What have we got? We don't even have boots yet, so this is a straight upgrade. Power boots plus one, sprint costs 30% less stamina. Hallelujah. And 5% increased movement speed. Movement speed plus 50 on top of that bonus. Armor plus eight and armor plus six. Now, I don't know if anyone's played like. Genshin Impact or um, Honkai Star Rail, but basically th this is the, we have the kind of the same way of getting stat boosts. Like the higher rarity will have an extra type of stat boost, and you'll get a random roll. So this is why all the gear is randomly generated. So here we've got two armor pieces, but we could find the same power boots plus one, and it will have movement speed, HP, and uh, defense rating maybe you know so it's not always guaranteed to be a certain thing what was that i just got an achievement flash run at human speed have i not been doing that the entire time anyway you get the ball just off of here if you just drop down right click to throw energized then that whole line turns blue 
then goes dark and it would have fallen off and now it's just sitting inside my base Whoop. so we'll just get rid of all of these was that that's just more cryo ammo get rid of that we'll pop that there actually we'll put the five in there and we'll keep the two out so we don't use it often uh let's see interact with core tower yep so nothing else to find on this mission on to the next see you there it is it's, it's funny because it's got a value it's worth eight but you can't take it with you it's just silly right, come on tower and Uh, I saw it in the red things you can build. Not sure where what it requires. Red things, like red level gear. <laughs> if you've got space, go for some more. Never miss an opportunity for loot. Yeah, I know. I've been a complete loot goblin in this game. Seriously, uh, resources that are picked up manually gathering increase. We'll take that one. Down we go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Pick it, pick it, pick it. There we go. 39. Oh, this is another thing as well. If you if you get a ton of power later on in your base, you've like souped it up and you've got like maybe 400 to spend, you could pay 10 more power and just bypass that area. If you need to get somewhere on a big map and you need to go like, I don't know, six movements... But you only want to get like the gold ones and you want to skip like so you'll get this gold one this gold one but you want to skip this house to get to this gold one you can bypass it it'll cost you 10 more power but you, it means you just don't have to go there and do the mission you don't get the loot but it means you can go further around the map should you wish Heading for the target area. Be prepared. not a lot of people um, were using that during the tests Mostly because we're all bloody loot goblins. Bloody good fun, though. When you really push your luck in this game. Ooh, it could be squeaky bum time. Especially when the big mechs come out. Uh, right, so, standard mission. Let's have a little look-see. Oh, this is so much faster, I never want to give these boots up. This is amazing. Look at that. All that running. Hardly. Oops. Always starts on the wrong bloody mode. Oh, sod your lightning strikes, you bastard. Anything down here? This area has been so loot poor. Everywhere we go doesn't seem to have bloody anything. Come on. Rather not get electrocuted or some dodge hits from these guys. Hopefully, I'm getting more powerful by hitting the uh, the old weak spots. Whoa! Ooh! Cheeky bugger got me. Oh, is this a is this a pristine boy? No, it's not. Oh, it's a wreckage. I thought this was a pristine one we could get in. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Oh, it's a shame. It's like only on like the first mission they give you like a tank you can get in. Ooh, that guy went pop. This is nothing. Just freaking nothing. Explore. Collect fiber composite. There is something to find. So we just gotta find it. Where? Oh, where? Tower, maybe? Is that an intact tower? No, that tower is screwed. Okay. Nothing there. This is this is the edge of the blue line. We can't go past that blue line. Where the frick is all the loot? Maybe up here? 
anything around here? No. Oh, there used to be loot everywhere. I need to get back to the higher difficulty levels. <laughs> uh, oh, now we're back at the base. So where the hell was the loot hiding? Did I miss a house somewhere? There's this thing, but this looks trashed as well. This doesn't look like this loot here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a huge wreck we can collect for like parts, but it costs us power to do. We don't want to do that. Oh, get me out of here! So where the frick is it? No! Where is it? This one's gonna be like another one hidden on the ground again. You remember that first run? Oh my god, I was looking for that thing for ages. I hope it's not up that cliff somewhere. That would drive me insane. Oh, there's a house! What the hell? How did I miss that? It's weird the way it carves out the terrain as well. Like, stuff gets sinking and sunken and plopped on top. This is why, look, we can't see it from where we were running before. But it's right outside the base. Ah, oh, I see, you couldn't see it either from here. And we got the storm straight away. Very well hidden. Very well hidden. Alright, so our stuff is going to be in there. Let's go around the outside. Get a nice look at the place. Also, tyres. Always get the tyres. Always, always, always. Can you somehow disable the firing mode or at least uh, switch places with other firing modes? Um, yeah, you've got Every weapon has two different firing modes. Um, the skills, I think, are tied to the base model of the gun. Uh, and you can't change those out. But the Zens, you can change out if you want to. So I can just press one and two to switch between these. It's just the first one, I think, is the explosive arrow. And the second one is the standard shot that you just like shooting a normal gun. So, whenever I start a new run, it's always set to 1, not 2, when I need to be on 2. Oh wow, I've never seen a car with actually stuff in it before. But this isn't the same car, you can't open the doors. Or oh, the boot! Fuckers. See so you know what I mean about textures, right? This one, not great textures. But it's not super bad. This one, look at that. That is just atrocious texture-wise. Just like, not even trying. This is what I really mean, like, so, there's some real mismatched textures in this game where you've got like, super detailed stuff, really nice rubble piles, and then you've got, like, just crap textures. Like, even these boxes have, like, a better... You can get writing and like labels and stuff on it. That car, it's dirt looks pixelated and blurred. Like it's just, it's like they've really tried for some of it, but not the full package. Okay. But they're not a massive, massive team. Oh, purple turret nexus. Yeah, there we go. That was a key. That was a key part. Am I safe? Yeah, I'm safe. Um, yeah, this key part here, that is a middle part of a turret. That plus the base plus the barrel, that's a new turret, baby. Uh, what the hell is that can? Weird. Uh, oh, no. What is this? I can open this. Oh, there we go. What do we find? Maximizer armor. Blue armor. Look at that! Defense goes up, extra armor and extra defense. Is that an overall plus armor though? A plus defense. Because it's more of the first lot of defense, but it's less on the second lot compared to the original one. 
And we lose the survival train. Having more than 90% armor grants a 5% increase attack. Okay, so it's got other stuff too. I'm not too sure on that one. I'm going to stick with what we've got. Either way, it could sell for a good value. Oh, we got a machine, we got a machine. That's good, that's good. This the this texture as well. This is this is basically black. Sink as well. You just don't get black sinks like that. So there's something wrong with these textures. Extra MG turret, hands down, take it. Easy peasy. We we are we are gonna be really pushing our luck on this extraction, I tell you. Yes, lots and lots of stuff. Lovely jubbly. Oh my god. This place is just massive. Have we just gone around in a big circle? I think we have. Yeah, yeah we have. Alright. Can we pick that up? Nope. Lol. We are going to need a... Oof. Smeg. Um... <laughs> are you a three by three? Yes, you are a three by three. Uh, three by three. Boom. And that is how you do your stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. What else have we got here? Uh, a site. Mm, okay, I know sites are only two. We can at least see if it's better or worse than what we've got. It's green, so it's got to be better, right? Oh, <laughs> Beaches, latest auto-aim technology that homes in on enemies within range and has plus 100 and something attack. That's insane. I will take that to the bank. And what we'll probably have to do is uh, hold this. And hope we don't run into anything else. We are we are looted the up. Seriously, we can't carry any more. There's more doors to open. Oh, I just can't stop. The loot goblin inside doesn't want me to stop. Can't do it. Thankfully, it's just. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, that we can pick up. We've already got some. That we don't already have. Uh, okay, the detector's crap. So let's um, let's chuck that on the floor. It's gold there. We need that. Let's pick that up. Oh no, we want to pick that up. That goes in the extra space, and we hold this. Sold the detector. This thing is worth it. Absolutely worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Oh no 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 capacitors and part we need that we need that capacitor too okay we're gonna have to come back Frick Frick smack this house is this is where all the loot's been hiding You loot goblins got your wish I have found everything Can you somehow disable the fire mode? Uh, oh no I read that one didn't I? Alright chuck that in there that needs to go in. Pop you in that corner. We'll pop you down there. Take that back. Pop you down there. You, 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 you. You! Go get the other stuff. Oh! This is what I like. This is a nice run. Lots of loot. Definitely stuff that I need. Haven't picked up a capacity yet. Need that to get the uh, some energy boosting stuff. I think to build a battery uh, in the base. So we absolutely, hands down, 100% need to take that with us. Uh, I came out of here and went this way. There we go. Polymer and capacitor. Anything else? A bit more ore. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Final call for loot. I think we dropped. Uh, yep. There we go. Oh, and there's ammo as well in here. Freaking hell. Right. Let's go. That's enough. On to the next one. We are not going to be able to bring everything with us. Ooh. Oh. Ta-da. 
Lol, so much stuff. What about the tiny crystals? Optional raw resource. Yes, they are. Uh, if every one you pick up, it's ore. It's just the stuff. You do use it in crafting. You do need to get it. And each one will give you one resource for your base. Mm, Alright, now someone said uh, there was a... Oh, there we go. A quick relocate. Um, oh, that's just the shift move. It won't it won't rotate stuff for you. Um, but it, it's just... I, I've been shift clicking by default. Just moving stuff, basically. Uh, I want that back. I just moved my armor. There we go. That'll have to do. Regular recovery. Send it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that these get a free reload at the start of every run as well. So you don't have to worry about constantly updating everything. Come on. Send it. Send it. The only thing this game hasn't really explained is where these cables go. It looks like it goes up to this big ring in space, but I thought that was the AI, under the AI's control. So, sod knows where these are going. I know some people haven't liked the fact that they've added a story to this game. There's, there's been some real grumps about it. Uh, I actually don't mind it. I, I think it's better with a story. Gives you a cause to go and um, do all these missions for. Rather than just to play for playing's sake. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't make too, too much sense. Don't expect Oscar-worthy stuff here. Oh, yes. Yes, scavenger. Scavenger! You beauty. You fucking beauty. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. Alright. Last one before we go back to the uh, the final extract. It's going to be tough. I'm going to need to shove so much stuff in my backpack. Alright, what have we got here? What have we got here? Any houses on a hill? Look at a house over there. Oh, can I zoom in further than that? No, I do like that zoom in. It's way better than the last one. And there is a house behind us, so let's go check the doors on this, because we know sometimes they can be open. So always worth checking. Nope, that needs a keycard. And this one needs a keycard. 30 energy to unlock is the standard for that one. I am not going to do it. Uh, this is all junk. Junk, 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 junk. Oops, wrong fire mode again. Lol. Absolutely rip that guy. Oh, there you go. As I got a bit closer, you saw the uh, lock on. Oh, that lock on is so good. Oh, run. Hide. I don't even have to aim when it's locked on. <laughs> you see that? Oh my god. Love it, love it. Let's find another enemy, I'll just demonstrate that again. Just in case you guys missed it. There's one, alright. Not aiming at the guy, right? <laughs> you combine this with that... Uh, like this scope with a, a high-end core part of the gun that can fire um, short-range bursts. And yeah, you're just going to tear through enemies. Absolutely tear through them. But it's all about finding... you just got to find the right stuff, you know. you got to find the right combos. And then you are absolutely flying in this game. The only downside is because you don't... At least as far as I found during testing... The Zens weren't super, super common, right? So to do any testing would be really expensive uh, and can basically take all the Zen that you found up until that point just to 
test an outcome and if it's not what you wanted and it doesn't turn out good then you've wasted a whole bunch and so it kind of puts you off wanting to test it which is why I wanted to um, I swear I saw purple come up then uh, I wanted to find the the, the, the firing range because I'm pretty sure the game has one somewhere I think I'm just not high enough level to uh, unlock it yet but yeah, if you find the firing range, you can like just set up with whatever Zen you like to like test out any sort of combination, uh, and that's yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. You can check DPS, you can check ranges, you can check different targets like armored targets and stuff. I'm pretty sure they have targets for everything. Well, yeah, that's the thing that we needed. Once again, the mannequin in the corner freaked me the fuck out. Uh, do, 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 do. Fun fact though, the uh, the little models over here, I think that's the old mech before they did all the upgrades. They've kept them as like little in-game models. It's really cool. Definitely a good way to not waste resources is uh, just reusing stuff in imaginative ways. Really good idea. Right, I think... I think that's the only building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the only building. Everything else is just collapsed. Oh, unless there's something hidden by this bloody plane again. There could be something hidden in the back. Who knows? No, oh, it's not. Well, there we go. Now we know. <laughs> right. To the final extract do 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 don't monetize me right get all these in i have not seen this thing before the greg med banner valuables okay anything that says valuables by the way is just meant to be sold okay let's just shift this around a little bit there we go and quick recovery, and we'll make sure we get some extra ammo. Ooh, what are we shooting? What are we shooting? What are we shooting? Did they drop anything? No. I'm looking for those tech points. Seriously, they are rare right now. I need higher difficulty levels or some bosses. I've got two guns now. Maybe we could pull a boss. It'd be risky. Definitely be risky. In T3 or T4, I forgot which. They had Zen there, uh, but for T5 firing range, you can only got targets. Very weird. Frustrating change. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They had a really cool firing range somewhere. It would have been so stupid if they've taken it out. I'm hoping it's just we just don't have access to it yet because it's just too early. Okay, I'm going to take this one and we are going to go a bit crazy. I definitely want to escape with the Zen. Uh, and if we take the money... Yeah, let's let's try let's try this. It's a bit bonkers. There we go. And I could end up losing my character. But it could be fun. You all ready? Let's do it. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. I hope it doesn't drop a giant freaking mech on my face. I am going to be so pissed if it does. Because I just got that, um, that blueprint that sent me on the mission. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh, there is, see, the extra line. Ping me off. Command mode activated. Command mode activated. Right. First things first, let's get this gun in placement up with this other one. Let's get another one of these at the front here. 
Why can't I not put this here somewhere? Did that go in? Did that just go underground? Did that spend? Did that spend my points? I think it did. Oh wait, no, it's here. Oh, I'm so confused. So confused! Uh, and then, yeah, this is all gonna have to come back here as the, the last ditch defense area. Make sure we don't block our turret here. I'll pop that in front of this. Because they'll go for the, the wall and get that. Go for the wall and get that. And we've got no more points there, so we'll come out of that. Can we go get another ammo? No. We need more material. We need more material. What can we do for more material? Maybe a tree? Oh. This should get us some material. Maybe 20 or so? 40. There we go. And picked up some trees too. Alright, back to this. And then... I want to make sure that these have got defences too. And if we can, we'll just put another one up here. Alright, to the end! Oh boy. Oh fuck! Did it again. Uh, let's go using all my abilities this time. There we go. Apologies for not looking at chat right now. So make sure we're not completely overrun by these bloody robots. See, they're coming up the side as well. Absolute bastards. So, if you look on the right hand side, just below where it says like the seconds and attacking, there should be like this little um, colored bars, like the yellow. And that shows you the stages that I showed you like before. So, we're going through the second stage now. And then that blue area should be a break. Get this guy absolutely. I don't know where his weak points are. This is annoying. Oh, and he's got a machine gun. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. Yep, they're demolishing my freaking. He was shooting me at that point. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not having that. Not having that. Alright, let's make sure. What's the ammo like? I mean, it's 300 or something. We're still good. We're still good. Need to reload. And ideally... Pop one of these, and we're also going to need to pop one of these too. And switch this back to the Thankfully, when you're doing this thing, it goes into slow motion mode. So, uh, Woo! so far we're keeping them at bay. And we got some tech points. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very, sorry. So we're in that blue kind of mode right now. And that's about to end any second now. Let's just get this sorted here. 
Uh, this back in. There. I'm gonna pop in a second one there. Oh, and I can get another gun. Point that way on this direction too. Yeah, <laughs> let's get some. To not let them shoot me. That would be a bad thing. Right, can I reload this one? Or is it good? I don't know if it's got like infinite ammo or whatnot. It will end eventually. This one's ended up. Reloaded. Get going! Jesus, we are getting absolutely smashed. Look. Like trying to take out all like the small weaker ones around everything, some of the bigger taller guys. Don't think we've got another tank in yet. Right, big guy, lovely. Oh, the shield guys are so annoying though. Oh. Yes! If you could just hit those barrels off those other creatures. Oh god, it works so well. Come on. Reload, 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 reload. Pump it out. Oh boy. You guys did want to greedy run. Recovery procedure nearing completion. Yes, 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 yes. It's using up a lot of personal ammo and we haven't even got anywhere near the uh the main outpost. We've still got our two guns there. I think there's one gun on the floor over there too. Oh, we are running out of to all enemies, then the evac aircraft will be able to wait for you while you pick up all the goodies nearby. Reload, 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 reload. Not like that thing shoots. I can't tell if that thing's run out of ammo or if it's just been hit too many times. Oh, I can't believe it's stuff to reload it. That's freaking annoying. I just need to kill this guy, but I can't get close to him because he has got miniguns. So I just have to keep popping him. Ah. I'm out of ammo. God damn. Carrots go burr indeed. Really want to buy this game. Is there any microtransactions that seem to block any progress? No. There is no microtransactions that will block your progress. There is, however, really fuck off massive giant mechs that will block your progress. The difficulty in this game can get a little extreme, but that's where the fun lies. Same way that the difficulty in. Um, uh, Hell Divers is what makes it fun to play, Aircraft right? And you can choose, seconds. you know, are you going to go like Hell Dive difficulty, or in this case, hard difficulty, or are you going to go like standard or normal or easy? I'm loving the fact we got Time quite a bit of go. tech points there. Four, four tech points? Yes. Like later on when you can take down more elite and it's not just as many grunt troops and you get you do get those elites the elites is what's going to drop more and more of those tech points for you and then you can really start leveling up your your stuff oh yeah 
The loot! Lovely jubbly. Tour complete. It is very similar to Sanctum ish. But it, it's still its own thing because it's 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 such a blend of different things. Like later on you can get factories on your base, like little factories that can you can build the little um support vehicles. Uh we used to call them spider tanks. Um basically mobile turrets. And you can have as many of those as you can afford to build. Uh if you're getting plenty of resources and power through each level. You could just keep building them and then you have them follow you around. You can set them to just follow your character. You can set them in a defensive perimeter around your base. So you get a lot more of the RTS style things going on there too. But in these early days, the this is this is all nearly first person. Command division. Where the hell's the command division? There is no command division. I'm gonna go to the research. Command division is that way, apparently. Just not on the map. Uh, material crate. This is what I wanted. You see, this is what I mean about it. it's like not everything is unlocked straight away. The material crate plus 40 storage. And I know you guys can't see me pointing at my screen, but <laughs> it's plus 40 storage. Um, so that can really help if you're stocking up on material for like that end game extract. More material means more defensive emplacements. Obviously you can only do so many in total, but you need the, you need that capacity to get there. So building these and putting them in your base is absolutely key. So, how much is that? That's just five points. We're at 17. Uh, don't need another ammo maker yet. There's the amp rack. As I said, I can't build it until I research this. Um, but the, the research cost is quite a bit. Well, the time cost, anyway. Uh, that one's basically free, but I don't want to spend two points on that. Because I don't need to build them. I've got plenty. This I want to do. But that requires 25 points, I've only got 17, so we will just take this one. And... don't need stairs yet, I would like a backpack expansion. That would be actually killer to do. Can I refund that? No, because that's... I need that as well. Oh, this is so frustrating! Oh. Get the points back from that, do the backpack research. It takes longer! But extra backpack space, as I explained earlier, is absolutely key to bringing back more stuff. Still two blueprints left in the border woodland too, as well. Bloody hell. Alright, what else can I make now? What was the actual thing I brought back? Nothing. Nothing. You are kidding me. I can make a third machine gun. But I want the battery. It's that battery that gives us that power capacity. So we've got three capacitors now. So yeah, let's just make three of these. Jobs are good un. Lovely jubbly. Oh, and I can't make armor plates. I haven't even done the research. What the hell? That makes no sense. No sense at all. Uh, we'll quickly jump to... Oh, actually, maybe if we can just get that other thing on the way out the way. Command division is probably in the intelligence center. Yes. You command? No. No. Command this. Well, we're gonna have to walk through the base to go find this. I think. And we can figure out where we need to go. Oh, my chat's disappeared. There we go. That way, okay.
Wait, so you just sold all the loot then? No, no, I haven't sold all the loot. We still have all the loot. Let me just quickly go visit this command division dude. And we will... Commander Vale, uh, outpost 11, oh, reporting story in. bit. All right, that's everybody. Let's begin. As you know, the 3rd Division has been silent ever since they arrived at the border woodland to avoid detection by the Mechanos. Recon elements have Maybe after this we'll get access to the uh, multiplayer. Two days ago. Outposts 2 and 6 have breached the enemy's containment and are headed for the main base. We should hear back from them in five days when they're expected to enter the windy desert. Outpost 7 is going for a round trip to the eastern wing of the border woodland for a scheduled recovery mission. Miriam, Matthew, your mission is to provide support for Outpost 2 and 6's withdrawal and eliminate any pursuing enemies. Roland and Alex, you two will be tasked with capturing the base station in the border woodland and protecting Outpost 7's resupply on their way back. In addition, Outpost 7 will be airlifting non-combat personnel and research data that will contribute greatly to our war efforts. Commander Fay. Remain on standby in the base and await updates from the air. Roger that. All right, cool. It's just a little kind of mini story section that we just have to go to that room for. Okay, cool. Um, Surgeon, to answer your question, the Vanguard edition is not a progression boost. Um, as far as we know, it doesn't give you OP stuff. You have um, one paint skin. Uh, which I can give you I don't have it but I can show you what the paint kind of looks like um, you get two turrets one of which is just a reskin and of, of the um, the Sea Wiz it basically goes from the American design of Sea Wiz to the Chinese design of Sea Wiz uh, they're based on real models and the the other weapon is slightly different to the single barrel cannon, I think it's a higher rate of fire but lower damage. So it's like it is different stats for the other cannon, but is uh, it's not meant to be like an OP weapon. It's just a different weapon that only you could have if you use the Vanguard edition. Uh, and what was the what was the fourth thing in the Vanguard? I can't remember. It's it's very little content basically for the extra money. It's there if you want to support the devs. Um, but you can't you can't upgrade to it from the base version, so they've done a bit of FOMO marketing, so people don't want to miss out. So it kind of like they force themselves into getting it. So just be aware that, that it's not a massive amount of content for the for the extra like fifteen dollars or ten dollars at the moment because of the discount. So this this uh, paint is red and gold. So this is kind of probably what the gold is going to look like, but over the entire base. Got a whole bunch of different colors here but yeah there's still there's tons to unlock in game anyway so just the stuff in the vanguard you can't get normally you have to get the vanguard edition to get it and you can't upgrade from the base game and pay the difference so if you wanted it after getting the base game you would have to buy the game again which is bullshit right now this is kind of what I was wanted to show you guys earlier, but I didn't have anything to show you with. When you put on something like this, you can see the, the main tower has lots of attachment points for these. This one needs three attachment points to add on. The back of the tower only has four. Now, if we look at the back of these building, uh, back of these walls, the armored walls don't have any attachment points to them. So this is an armored wall, nothing. The window, the window has got a three slot above it, and the uh, where is it? This this wall is the utility wall. The utility wall has uh, a two by two. Uh, does it have two by two this side as well? No, just on the inside. Uh, the armored walls, however, do have slots on the outside, but I think there's like another armor thing that you can put on that later. Like an extra like armor layer that you can put on top, um, but yeah, the you don't want to be putting these on the outside because they could just get shot and then you you end up losing capacity on your on your base. So what I like to do is I I fill these from the top down just because they look cool. So 
So we'll chuck one, two, and we'll chuck one on the other side too. There we go. And as you can see, our capacity uh, would have gone up 15 on our power. So we're raising capacity, but things like this will, uh, will affect it. Is that affecting it? That's not affecting power, that's affecting 10 on the material capacity. So we need to make some of those boxes as well to offset extra guns. So for more guns, you need more boxes, which are the things that we're researching right now. So that's why they're not here. But yeah, those material boxes is what we want. Oh wait, no, I don't want it green. Balls. Back to the white one. I like the white. Thank you. Alright, what else do I want to show you guys? Hmm. We did the research. Oh yeah, did we did we unlock? Da da da. Oh, I haven't showed you the skills yet. Uh, as you level up your character, you do get traits or trait points, and you can un unlock different areas of this tree. So, my rapid fire or free fire ability that costs no ammo, uh, I've upgraded it to last three more seconds. Uh, it has five seconds less cooldown, and while the effect is on, I do 25% more damage, which is actually pretty cool. I can upgrade it to shoot cryo ammo. Bullet damage just plus fifty percent, which I think is like additional, so you get like a seventy-five percent increase total. Uh, here we've got uh, each attack that hits the enemy a weakness extends the duration. So if you're constantly getting headshots or weak point shots, you can just keep doing it again and again and again, and it'll keep stacking up, which is super cool. Uh, and a fifty percent damage reduction means you can get up close, and not have to worry about getting hit too much. Or getting hit from those long range ones. At the bottom here, I've got uh, the plot armor. This is the thing that doesn't let you die. Only this character has this. All other characters can die and you can't get plot armor for those characters, to my knowledge. Uh, I've also then got extra stamina and extra stamina regeneration. Uh, but we can unlock uh, shot after this instant cooldown does not use ammo and cooldown. So what does it extra Thing do accelerates the cooling process of the Zen in use. Oh, okay, so like each if the shot has a cooldown, so my primary weapon modifier had a cooldown on it. So if I use that, it would like make it go quickly. Uh, each attack weakness. Yes, yeah, so I'm not too fast on this talent. Particularly. No, do not. Uh, so I'm definitely going to keep leveling this one. Uh, extra damage is definitely good. And you can see the, the point cost just there. It's tiny. So this is 20. I've got 35. This one's uh, 15. This one's 15. This one's 10. So I can get like this one and the 15. Which is actually pretty good. So that one and that one. And that makes your character stronger. Uh, I think if it if I were to technically die, although I can't lose this character, I think all the skills get reset and your level gets reset for the character. So there is some loss of progression there, but the majority of your progression is baked into your base, your outpost. So if you if you completely lose a map and your 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 outpost gets wiped out, it just gets rebuilt for free. You do not need to worry about whether it's going to be um, like rebuilt or not, or if you're going to have to pay, or if you run out of resources. Um, when someone thought, oh, I thought I just sell everything that comes back. No, you literally have to go sell it yourself. So this is this is everything I bought back from the three runs that I've done now. Uh, three full extraction runs. Um, we'll get a, where's the sword? There we go. So we've got weapons here, so we've got gear, it's various different bits of gear that I've got. These are materials used in construction. Um, so we, yeah, we've got two various barrels, 30mm cannon there, machine gun, turret barrels, I can get another one of those. Uh, I really want to use this. So this plus this plus this 
is a turret. But it could also be this. And that would be a machine gun turret. But I want this. But I need to unlock the recipe for this before I can make a turret. Uh, and then we just got various rarities of, of components basically for that. These are the valuables. Now these big ones that have been the mission objectives. We need to trade these in. Uh, I need to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to trade these in. Um, I thought it was with the same person. But they, they must have moved it. But other stuff that is listed as valuable. Like these copper cups. These you sell. Because you want the money from these. Especially this, this bugger. That's expensive. These, like the, the, the comic books, the vinyls, whatever. Um, they're just there to be sold. You do not need to worry about them or keep them. Just get rid of them. Look, if it says valuable in the description, just sell it. Um, this says mission item, mission item, mission item, mission item. Valuable. So this one can go as well. Ooh, getting all the money. Right, so I'm going to guess that we can't talk to any of these people. It's, it's got to be, it's got to be this woman that I trade them in with. Right, you. No, can't talk to you. No, again, this is just buying. Uh, now, while we don't have access to... Um, well, at least last time we checked, we didn't have access to getting new people. The only other way to get new characters is via these recruitment beacons. Now, these will drop from bosses, or very, very rarely elites, maybe, at the higher difficulty levels. Um, but mostly bosses. So you've got to look out for these. When the boss dies, check where it died for one of these, as well as other very rare and expensive loot. And using one of these, you can just straight up get a new character added to your roster straight away. So yeah, if you need anything from from these, these this list of stuff that they sell will change each time, like after each run. I see, look, stock will refresh in eight days. So if you go on a run, you'll generally take more than like eight in-game days. Um, but I swear, last time, I really don't know where we're supposed to hand these off to. You're basically supposed to trade them in, and you get stuff for them. So maybe it's not even unlocked. They just told me to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Perhaps there is a more proactive alternative. What are you? Oh, the wife who shunned up. This is the only 3D human model I could find within the outpost commander's field manual. Oh yes, the only one. Okay, I really don't sure. Want to find out who that belonged to. Any the excuse for titties, right? Box <laughs> They brought this AI out of nowhere. Like none of this was in testing. Ridiculous. What do you suggest? My algorithms allow me to identify enemy communication signals. Excellent. What? Connect me to the base network. I will start a search. Oh, the, the AI robots. wants to be connected to the base. Yeah, that's that's like a really good idea. Given what just happened to the world. Due to a different AI. Jesus. Request sent. Access denied. I'm not surprised. Optimizing bandwidth restrictions. Warning: Network intrusion detected. Origin has been traced to the command terminal of Outpost 11. What? I regret to inform you that I have been blocked by a firewall. Search terminated. What's going on, Faye? <laughs> We're in trouble now. Uh, I've wanted to check the combat log. Get a better look on the current situation. The moment you jacked into the base's network, we began detecting thousands of commands being issued. <laughs> Any thoughts on that? Uh... I guess I'm onto something. Commander Fay, I am currently under remote data attack from the intelligence center within the base. She was in the test. She had clothes on it. Oh, was that the weird dominatrix looking so thing that never thing even talked? So behind the attack just then. That was just it's weird. a little complicated. She was just trying to help me. She's on our side. Don't you dare forget. Steel was also originally created to protect mankind. Listen closely. No matter how close they get, AIs are not and never will be 
human. EUA should only trust each other, and certainly not some soulless AI who doesn't even have a name! Juliet. The name is Juliet. Shit. Cut the power to Outpost 11. I'm gonna turn this thing into scrap. As for you, I'll deal with you later. Oh, he is pissed at us. If that's what you want, you might as well dismiss me of my command this instant. Ha! <laughs> You're bold. I'll give you that at least. Dude, what the hell is that character model? I know, it's just, there's literally no reason for it. And the, the excuse they just gave us, it was the only human 3D model they found on their database from someone on the base. Bad. But I think this base network thing might be the multiplayer. Uh, is it Command gonna let us- Oh, it won't let us do it! We need to go check. Sorting authorization. Julia. Greetings, Commander. I apologize for the inappropriate outburst earlier. Lol. Put your hand down, what the frick? <laughs> I didn't think you had the balls to put a boot up Levi's ass. That was quite a show. They want to keep an eye on you. So, the control core must remain inside the base. This way, the EUA will be able to terminate me at their discretion. I won't let that happen. I appreciate your trust. I do not see a fault in the EUA's logic. Moreover, this does not change the camaraderie between us. You are absolutely right, my comrade. Also, there's no need for formality. Just call me Faye. All right. Why is this dude's name Any news Faye? from Outpost 7, Levi? Bad news, I'm afraid. We've lost contact with Outpost 7. Its transponder has Come been on. pinging in the same location Command for 36 hours now. 11. We're Faye expecting the worst. The last known location for the transport is located within the Don't trust Canyon, them, touch it, do it. <laughs> near the border woodland. You're to locate the downed air. He's in like this glass. I will send Bruce to help you out. Like, I can handle it like myself. I'm pretty sure she's just no, a hologram anyway. Can't touch you're a hologram. Bruce has been Unless in it's Star Trek, am I right, Riker? If anyone's gonna make sure you come back in one piece, it's him. He's already scouting out the air. Oh god, these come guy waffles ready. on. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Oh, I saw it. Commander of oh, we still don't get Faye it. Crap. Sortie authorization granted. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we just got to keep going on the story to unlock um, the multiplayer. We're, we're nearly, nearly Please there. But yeah, I am absolutely wiped. It is pretty much one o'clock in the morning. I do hope everyone has enjoyed the stream and the reveal of the pink-haired waifu Juliet, which for some reason is boob under boob sticking out for whatever reason. I prefer my titties real, but hey ho. Thank you all for coming here. Thank you all for sticking around. The likes, the messages, the lurkers. You're all appreciated very much. Um, I definitely want to do another stream, so keep an eye out for that, and keep an eye out for any new content I put out on the channel. So make sure you subscribe for that one. I do have a Discord if you want to chat to me further, or share links if you find some cool stuff, or you want to share screenshots of your outpost. I'll, I'll put up um, a little outpost channel if I haven't done, done so already, and we can all chat about the game there. So thank you all once again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Juliet. Bye-bye.